Hello everyone. Welcome here. Getting started. Myself, Shekhar Metla. I am the software engineer from the past two decades in the industry of various technologies, programming languages, full stack development, web development, all these technologies. So inserting and market research, we are adding a great courses for you to start your course. So welcome here. Use this online tutorial to speed up and slow down video for complete program. So all the lectures you have to go as curriculum and the order which is given from the scratch to till reaching of the end lecture. Then you will get a great experience to how to initiate the things, how to start writing the code, all the things you will learn step by step process. So learn at any time from anywhere using internet connected mobile or computer system. Make sure to use of practical exercises. How to get help? Checking with your knowledge using documents. For instance, quick help, Google or Stack Overflow search engine techniques. Submit your questions on ask QA forums for detail what you are tried with screenshot of error code practiced by you. How to approach the course? A step-by-step -step approach is very, very important to initiate this type of courses. So best way to approach the course is review videos with your practical hands-on sessions, follow up video guides with the steps, note extra information for practice, Review certain information by reading of examples, parts of the video courses. There is a lot of session is initiated from in a single course. You have to make sure to piece a parts of the video sessions. You have to practice independently with your more add on examples. So coding exercise and solutions. You will be assigned a simple coding exercise of our course journey to be test your skill level. What extent you have learned based on your previous lectures. Anyhow, you will be guided at the solutions for this coding exercise. I strongly welcoming you inside the course. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome here. How to get prerequisites? This lecture you will know how to get the course requirements to start with this course. See here, don't miss this lecture. You will know and you will set local code development environment and what the tools are required to start learning with this course in a practical environment code setting up. So let's see. Browser. Download the Chrome which is free browser for this course. So I recommend you like uh, if you are already having any other browser which is supporting HTML5 and CSS3 components, yes, you may use the same browser. And online code editor, go to the browser type is and type your www.jsbin.com. So here you need to write a code online itself and compile yourself. Whereas, we are going to suggesting you to setting up of your personal computer code editor for local coding in development environment to write code using Sublime Text Editor. So this editor very comfortably you may prepare like uh, all the lectures you can set one by one pages of HTML as well as CSS code and you will learn many things over there. So I suggest you to take Sublime Text Editor as your personal development code editor or you are already familiar with any of a code editor. Yes, absolutely. You may use the same editor. In this course, we design with explaining all the lectures using Sublime Text Editor. In the upcoming lectures, I'll teach you how to download and how to install Sublime Text Editor step-by-step -step process I'll explain you. I'll see you at course. Thank you.
Hello everyone. Welcome here. Getting started on Windows, Linux or Mac. As a beginner who are entering into CSS coding or programming, it's a very essential to understand and know more about this lecture. So choosing an operating system is very essential for beginners. So it may be Windows or it may be Linux or Mac or any other operating system you choose very comfortably. Why? These CSS will work as an open source and any browser which is supporting latest components, it purely works on CSS3. So I suggest to you a choosing an operating system is a simple which you are already familiar based on that operating system you begin start learning with it. And choosing and you need not to switch to Windows. Why? Because we are uh, created this course and lectures are gone like uh, uh, gone through Windows operating system only. So whichever you are comfortable to operate, yes, you may choose. Thank you. Welcome here. How to ask great questions? So here for this course, if any clarifications you may have, how to ask? For your great questions will be answered on Google for a try first. And the second level, look at the error on code running. You may visit and find your queries answer at stackoverflow.com. One of the top technical forum Many of the super seniors are answer like all these code errors and questions. Where you are uh, having a option to write us your query with a comment. What the error code you are getting while writing the program. Share the screenshot of uh, error code to very quickly resolve the error on and providing you the solution very quickly. So we will help you on priority based what we have received the query for your solutions. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome here. In this lecture, FAQs about the course. Let's see, what do I need before learning this course? Basic computer operating system skills are enough. If you know HTML, that would be an advantage to understand very quickly. So any source code provided for this course? All the source code will be shown on video lectures by doing the code and uh, you will learn with the real time examples only. Does it have a any computer requirements for this course? Yes. A basic computer with internet active for video lectures to see and practicing all the lectures what we have explained. I'll see you inside the course. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to learn HTML overview. Let's begin the session. HTML stands for the HTML is simply written here and which is a very most popular language to create HTML web pages using HTML code to implement many of web pages. See, hypertext markup language. HTML stands for hypertext markup language. So hyper, where we are going to interconnecting different pages of uh, web pages using hyper. Text, 
the page which is having a plain text like uh, alpha like uh, characters of a to z 0 to 9 numbers and special characters which are group of mixing and the markup which is uh, done with a plan of open and end tags we call it as it's a html tags or html script tags using this markup means it's a standardization format very simply i can say that it's a format so all a group which is having to knowing it's a special language so html stands for hypertext markup language so very easily everyone should understand about to create for using of html is to design and to create html like web pages where we are able to open a browser browser may be in google chrome or mozilla firefox internet explorer from microsoft and any other netscape navigator any browser you may see open some url and accessing website means it's nothing but these are html web pages see HTML opening and closing tags are presented here. So less than HTML greater than and end tag like closing tag would be less than forward slash HTML and greater than. So all the tags in HTML programming and HTML coding you will get its opening tag and closing tag for all the tags. Few of the tags are there which we cannot uh, use for as an any tag because i will explain you in this lecture also later this uh, uh, course so any html you may take open tag like opening tag and closing tag would be there all right so who is invented and created this one w3c so w3c is a, a group of people created HTML to build websites. Creating HTML to create web pages by adding all these pages together in a particular order and form of a group of pages at a single place will be called as website. For an example, home page, about page, services or products page, and contact us page. The basic website will follow and will have the these pages only. So the W3C, a group of people who are invented this HTML hypertext markup language to create websites as an open source. So need not to buy any software to run HTML. It's an open source. Anyone can create HTML pages and having a creating and learning of a websites and you can make and you can create your own website by learning this simple course i'll see you at the course thank you Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to learn how to choose code editors. So there is a lot of code editors are available in the industry. So as a beginner and uh, learning and writing the HTML, a basic web pages, you need to know and understand how to choose a great code editor to quickly write and quickly understand the structures of coding and HTML language very easily. I'll explain you now. I'll show you a few of code editors here. Anyone, I'm not going to restrict you to control you at any point. So any of code editor you may choose yourself or else which already you are familiar in any code editor that's absolutely okay to use and continue this course. Alright, 
let's begin here so the code editor first one I'm seeing here like uh, showing sublime text editor so when you go to Google and hit sublime text editor and you can download freely this software from Google so the sublime text editor is most popular and sophisticated text editor for coding markup and purpose of implementation of different programming languages it will support so why we require to use such a code editors means whenever you are writing some HTML code or open tag or end tag it will show you in a beautiful colors so based on that you will easily understand where the open tag and where the end tag is closing and which is the text is going to be applying something and attributes properties these are all the things one by one you will be shown on different colors so by accessing and writing of coding is very easy it's very easy to understand all right all right so I'll show you here let's see why I am recommending first this one we are using sublime text editor to continuing this program so I recommend you to install sublime text editor if you are willing to install or in next lecture I'll show you step by step how to download sublime text editor and install in Windows operating system this sublime text is also used and uh, you can you may apply to download and install in different programming like this different type of operating systems also like Windows Mac Linux which are the operating system this site you, you, you know like you may get the relevant links to download and install the software and the processor for Windows I'll show you all right and the next editor is Visual Studio Code this also from Microsoft so you will get freely get downloaded and install the Microsoft like a Visual Studio code so you can download this software and install if you are already familiar that's greatly appreciate to uh, like uh, using this editor to run the programs write the program and run it the next one is notepad plus plus it's like a little bit advancement is required for beginners so writing complete code if you know you need to use for notepad plus plus this is also free version is available so Google open the Google and download the version from the web by hitting notepad plus plus and download it and start writing the like HTML program in this notepad plus plus also the next one is brackets this is also freely available it's like a, these all are code editors these all are code editors whichever the file add whichever the software if you are comfortable to download and install yes absolutely you use that any one code editor is sufficient to run the write the and start learning the programming of HTML all right brackets is also one of the code editor which will greatly supports for Mac Windows and different operating systems you may choose if you wish to write like uh, the next one is uh, this uh, like um, we can call it as uh, something yeah Dreamweaver it's a package from Adobe so Dreamweaver is also very comfortably you can create projects of HTML and write the HTML CSS JavaScript all the relevant codes so also if you are uh, familiar in Adobe Dreamweaver you can use Dreamweaver to write the programs as a editor all right maybe Dreamweaver you have to pay something like uh, for license to use it you just check it with uh, Google and uh, check with the Dreamweaver Adobe all right so I am requesting you to choose for any of open source code editor to start learning the things immediately all right we'll jump start to in the next lecture by seeing download and installing sublime text editor i'll catch you there thank you hello 
everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn how to download and install sublime text editor it's a very easy and simple lecture for beginners who are starting at computer and coding i'll show you the steps to download and installing each and every step step by step process let's begin here open google chrome browser or any of the browser which you are comfortable so once you open just hit sublime text there is a download option is also here so hit sublime text you will find an option downloads either you can you can go directly here or you open sublime text.com website see here it is showing simply download for windows directly it is showing in a button simply it's a showing like a download for windows see i told you to install this editor in different operating systems how it is possible linux mac see whichever the operating system you need is you can download it and uh, write the coding so for windows it is showing like this all right here i'm choosing for download for windows option to getting this software so hit on download for windows see it's downloading so once it is download is completed in the bottom you may see just double click or right click and open if it is double click you will get the like uh, this window like you need to use your account control plus s and see setup sublime text editor window you are getting here like uh, the setup file we are initiating to start installation process so here you will get in a path where to install this software you need not to change anything click next by default it is going to be install on c drive click next install wow see it's a depends upon system specification and configuration to be taken for installation time maybe it's a low process and low memory you will get some time like a few seconds delay otherwise you will get completed quickly so completing submit wizard you just click on finish minimize this go to start button you will see here sublime text here when you press the start button you will see the sublime text or else you will find like by scrolling this uh, program files you will get like a sublime text editor folder and to access from here if you are hitting this one you will get directly open sublime text editor in your computer system all right this is the sublime text editor so i'll tell you how to create and how to start the functionality with the with the using of sublime text editor in uh, next lecture we'll see what are the overviews and how html pages will be created we'll see about it thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn overview of a web page so what is web page let's see here open any browser open any web browser and just type simply example.com and hit enter wow i am able to getting here some information so how am i accessing this website see by typing a domain name it will be called this one will be called as a domain name so this domain name is e x a m p l e some name and dot c o m is an extension for this domain so similarly we have in a new like a more many of domains see let's say google.com yes you will get in a website of google so another one is fb.com or facebook.com you will get in a facebook login here so this way 
any other any other websites you may use and access via browser so how you are accessing these pages and how you are accessing so somewhere else a web server is presented in public there we will design web pages and creating website and we are hosting into the public domain that server we have to buy it some license like uh, for putting our content we call it as our hosting or publishing in the public server to access this website we need to buy the domain and hosting space for this details you may know more on go to godaddy.com or any other web hosting bigrock.com or if any other possible domain registrations are there you may approach them so many members are available in nowadays in the market to registering domain names and hosting space to placing your website or web application to access via this your domain all right so this domain is containing here a very simple for example to show a simple example domain i want to present for this is it's a showing some box and some content is showing here so example domain and uh, this domain is used for illustration examples for the documents you may use domain illustration without prior coordination asking for the permissions so here it is a having some like a link button and all whenever you are taking and events like uh, you are uh, designed some website and web pages if you are published in public domain by taking like a domain name and hosting space i'll show you how to these all the procedures where to like uh, how to like uh, once you purchase the domain name and uh, space for domain to publish the content website i'll show you all the procedures to how to like uh, publish and uh, setting of a local environment to publish and all we'll cover in this lectures like uh, this course so once you publish the code like uh, html web pages which you have already created and uh, done with you with, with you this website directly you may type your website name and hitting uh, enter here in the browser page uh, you will get your pages here all right so that way we can uh, do like a planned accordingly this way we are created this course so let's see this is a very simply when you hit something you will get here your web pages will be down like uh, shown here all the information so in the next lecture i'll show you a basic structure of web page so you will get an a basic idea about it all right i'll catch you thank you Hello everyone. Welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to know a full HTML web page structure. How it will be created and a basic a group of structures what required to creating a web page you will be seen here. By seeing this site only we'll see how we can see the source code here and to know the structure you just simply right click on open anywhere like a open place right click here and view page source view page source there is an option called right click on the mouse on the page of google chrome i am showing you if a mozilla or any other web browsers you may see finding like by clicking this clicks and go to some settings or more tools to see an option view page source all right so here once you choose in this option like view page source option you will see this one so all the html code is going to be displaying here see all the html code so like uh, i'll explain you like anyhow we'll write one by one all the things and we are going to learn in this course you don't worry whereas i'm showing you here a basic structure for in a simple html web page so here html it will be here 
so we can call it as it's an open tag i'll show you in a earlier lecture also so at the end we'll see like this html end tag so inside this open and end html tags we are going to write in this html code okay so how we are going to retain these open and end html tags we are writing the code inside the html tags so inside the html tags we need to create see at the top like a top order like a menu headers and all the parts will comes in head section we call it as head section see head tag it is here anything which are having less than and greater than in between something which is written will be called as tag so inside we'll write some names like tag names these all are built in predefined tags only we are not creating any custom tags here see these all are ready madely already available which tag is available for what the purpose we should know and apply to create html web pages so this course is very simple and very easy i told you so here once a head tag is initiated and here it is stopped so end tag is initiated here so it, this will be this uh, from line number 3 to 36 we can call it as it's a heads head section all right inside head section it is a, like a title and a title and uh, inside like a title where the title here it will comes at the top of uh, tabs are there no there it will be displays the title which we are prepared for in a page so once it is title is completed meta tags we call it as for the purpose of uh, uh, responsive page responsive and uh, seo purpose and character set setting of a html page these things will comes under this meta tags and now see these are the style tags which if we are applying style tags like a css style sheets cascading style making more beautification of web page this will be applied for this example.com website so once it is done these all are comes under head section only once it's done we are making move into body which we are able to seeing the output in the browser this head section will not be displayed anywhere this will be used as a reference which the we are going to be applying using inside the body okay so here you may observe very clearly inside the body if we written anything that will be displayed on the browser outside as a client can be easy to like a client can be visible was the client to be seen or what the information we need to present to the client or user we may put inside like uh, inside the body only what the information we are adding inside the body that will be displayed to the end user so let's see here a simple example like uh, these tags will not be displayed to the user see these things h1 tag is issued here p tag which is uh, representing for paragraphs so without these tags these information only user can able to see let's see in the browser see this domain is going to be and h1 tag is a bold like a domain like a thickness h1 is a header tags i'll show you in a separate lecture for that so the range of a heading which heading you want to use you can apply there so here none of the html tags will not be displayed there a plain text only will be visible at the end user let's see here this way we can design a html code very simply very easy so this is about to a page like a full html web page structure to be required in html and head and uh, body div division tag and uh, html close tag this is the very basic i'm not showing you very clearly this is only very basic structure if it is there you will get to see such a html page so the next lecture onwards 
like uh, next section onwards we are going to moving to creating new HTML pages from scratch so how to create a page how to apply and write all these tags you will learn step by step one by one we are uh, described to making you in a professional so I'll catch you there thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture we are going to learn how to create web project and how to start and write welcome page hello world in HTML let's see quickly I'll uh, take in a steps so in desktop I am creating a new project folder called HTML so anywhere in your uh, system maybe like uh, C drive or D drive whichever place you convenient you create a folder there name it as HTML yeah the folder is created successfully so here what I am trying to doing now opening sublime text editor so just start it and choose for sublime text if you are installed if you are using any other code editor yes you may acceptable to open that code editor and create new HTML form so using sublime text editor I'm showing you how to create it so sublime yeah this one click sublime text editor yeah here are the files yes now it will be shows you like this so go to file here it's a new file is coming so hit on new so it's a showing like simply untitled so I want to save it first the new file I have created I want to save it first first it's an as an extension of HTML so what I'm trying to doing file like uh, where is a save option yes go to file and save control s it's a keyboard shortcut is control control key from your keyboard and press s or else you can click save so it will ask you where to save this file so go to desktop here it is this pc desktop here i have created on the desktop this html directory or else you find where you have created your own directory maybe c drive or documents or d drive where you are conveniently created your project folder you find it and open here once it is opened in my system it is in a desktop I am creating for easy access so I am opened it so now I want to give a file name to save this file so I am giving very simply welcome.html welcome dot html html file is having web page by default it's having dot html is an extension so strongly remember this one so create it any name i'm taking welcome why because it's a new file we are creating for us at like a hello world uh, welcome file in html so i'm given conveniently welcome dot html so given it now save it so you may see in a tab welcome.html file is created successfully now very simply if you are using this uh, sublime text editor it's very simply what you do is just shift plus less than left like a shift plus less than hit ht that's it hits ht you find html like um, so many options are here th something like alphabetical order controls tags which are available in html it shows the advantages of using code editors are this is a real time example so these code edited code editors what it will do it will automatically show you the tags which are already available 
to support in this particular language which language you are writing those languages most of the languages this sublime text editor also will support so here for html we are using this one so see when i press ht the tab which is the, these tags are available with the following of ht so by typing ht and by pressing keyboard tab key tab key so see a great information which is already written here a great basic structure which is already written here code editor be of of it will help us to building this uh, this type of uh, structure basic structure so let's see doc type html is came html open tag and end tag and head tag here this is the head tag in between we are getting like title and meta tags and body tag which we are going to be written something it will be displayed at uh, user browser like output so here the title i am writing something which will be displayed on uh, browser tab option heading like so here i am writing like uh, welcome page all right so now save this by pressing control s right click anywhere simply right click and open in browser right click and open in browser so you will see like uh, yeah something you will see here choose add ons don't enable it yeah not required so your current settings is uh, this one something like browser settings will ask you ask me later you can put it not required so like uh, yes so you, you may put like your default browser also okay this is the microsoft edge chrome browser is coming microsoft edge browser no problem or else if you want to use like uh, chrome what you need to do take a copy of this url and go to chrome and uh, paste this url and hit enter see nothing is here so title is welcome page is showing title it is showing like a welcome page yes this tab and nothing so here also in this this browser also if you refresh you will get the title welcome page this is the title why because we are not adding any body text here so very simply what i am doing here some text i am writing hello world and some text i am adding here hello world by pressing control s save it and browser refresh it what a awesome we are greatly we are getting hello world text here see in the html page we are happily getting hello world or else you may go to the this browser of uh, microsoft edge or internet explorer refresh the page yeah here you can press the refresh see hello world we are getting if you want to take this url as a copy and paste which browser you want to access this html page you will get it very simply or else or else if you are typical to accessing open the project folder which we have created see here right click here and open with you may choose the browser chrome mozilla or anything just hit it you will get the output so how simple and how beauty so in body what the line you have written here it will be displayed in the output the user rest of the text will not be displayed this is all about to create a new html pages step by step and creating new pages more and more pages we are going to be creating in this course and uh, we are going to adding a number of uh, tags and uh, making a great experience you will get in this lectures i'll catch you in the next lecture thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn h1 to h6 heading tags in html you have to define any paragraph or any text you want to present any headings there is a a group of 
from H1 to H6 standardization group of tags are built in ready-madely available so here how these tags are shown the font and how we can use these h1 to h6 tags in html we'll see now let's begin see here these tags are from h1 to like uh, h6 i have presented here in the presentation so h1 is a heading one maybe you have to observe here like a font size and uh, how the width it is occupying these all are why h1 is taken at top like means any of uh, main headings you may use and apply for h1 tags any newspaper you may see or any web pages you may see the title of the products you may see like uh, a big font and with the capital like a uh, highlighted text you may see as in a heading so there which heading and which size of heading you require wherever you require you straight away you may apply from h1 to h6 tags how these are going to be apply in html in practical way we'll see now let's begin yeah minimize this one go to sublime text editor yeah in my system this is go to sublime text editor you have to go to file there is a file option is here you just click on file go to like a open folder the project folder I am importing to Sublime Text Editor, which is a very convenient way to access later times. And we, the, these all files will be in the displays in this here open files. So let's see here to get this option. What you do? File, open folder. This is nothing but project folder what we have created earlier session. So here in my desktop, I have created HTML folder as a project for this tutorial so select html whichever the folder you have created accordingly you have to choose for yourself so here in my html i'm selecting selecting the folder yes this is the folder and it is having welcome.html file it's absolutely greatly we have did it so now to see h1 to h6 all these tags what i'm trying to doing creating a new file creating a new file who are the beginners you just learn from scratch everything so you will get very easily and conveniently to know more things on it so go to file new untitled file is created so first what I am trying to doing by pressing ctrl s or file save so it is asking like uh, this file where to save so here you may observe I have, I have to specify a name of the file so these are the tags are heading so I am giving heading dot html so with the extension is very important you have to specify name of the file dot with the extension html so click here save it so heading dot html is created inside the html of our project folder it's a here okay so here what you write just put less than ht every file we are going to writing all the code to practicing more and more so ht and press tab you will get all these things this is the html basic structure and tag and head section see ending here the title and the body so here in the title i'm putting head tag you may put like more head tag tutorial or anything you want to put there you can add here so within a body very easily very easily take less than h see here like h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 these are the h1 tags okay so here you may simply take h1 i am choosing so now you may observe here like uh, these heading these heading uh, hello heading one i'm giving here so save it to run this file right click on the open place open in browser yeah open in browser yeah this is not required here 
okay so here we are able to accessing if you want to access this window in google chrome take a copy of it and open oh like open google chrome and paste this url so you are getting hello here so i am increasing the browser if it is 100 percent it will be displaced this way if you want to see in a good i'm increasing myself by holding control and up scroll and down scroll you will get the large size of screen for visibility purpose only i'm increasing okay so this is the heading one i have written this is showing even it is 100 uh, percent like this one so let's see i'm trying to putting like uh, here one more heading called uh, like uh, h2 h2 yeah press tab this is heading 2 the tag is heading 2 how it will be open the browser now it's already open now so just to refresh it save the file of uh, this one save the file of this one like this HTML file control s by pressing the control s or else you have to go to menu and save it so here you have to go to file save all the HTML files and uh, all the files uh, which you are trying to practicing and preparing in HTML code, you have to apply same principles. Any file, whichever the code you are written, you have to save it and go to the browser and refresh the browser. Then immediately you will get the output what you are prepared. So refresh here. So you are getting H2. See the size of uh, heading 1 and heading 2 is different. So quickly I am writing the remaining. So the next one is H3 heading 3 and H4 heading yeah, 4. Similarly we have like a H5 heading 5 like a H6. So save this and go to the browser and refresh it. Wow. We have seen like uh, these things. Heading 1, 2, the size of heading 3, 4, 5, 6. See how beauty, which heading size and which heading font capacity you need. Accordingly, you need to apply for this H1 to H6 heading tags. So I hope it's a very simple and very easy. Whenever we are writing some paragraphs, or any other uh, improvement of table titles and report titles all will be used using this heading tags only all right and SUA will also help you to prepare like this heading tags so many lectures will go and use for heading tags as well as multiple components of uh, going to be adding over here we'll discuss more and more I'll catch you in the next lecture thank you Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to learn paragraph tag. So what is paragraph tag and what you are going to learn here. So paragraph tag is nothing but to setting a text, a group of lines text to be presenting in HTML page in order wise. So assigning and aligning the paragraphs you require and placing text in a proper way and setting of fonts and a setting of alignment of uh, uh, the space of text how much you require dividing your pages like your web page into multiple parts of paragraphs these all are required to cleanly maintaining a text specifically a text is required for paragraph tag so this paragraph tag will be explained you so these tags are I am removing here. So I am putting one like uh, heading tag only. Just I am writing here in heading tag is paragraph example. So the course, so like a source code, we will write for paragraph example over here now. So using of paragraph, what we do? Using of paragraph, like uh, using of p in p element, we'll use here. By pressing tab, you will get the P element. So this P 
P will help you. P is nothing but paragraph tag. It's an open, like a open tag and closing tag. The same P will follow for P at the starting point. It's an open tag and ending with the forward slash which tag name we are using the same tag name will apply for all the tags in HTML whatever the tag is available it will be follows the same tradition all right so very simple example by defining of uh, how to establish in, uh, this particular paragraph we'll see see inside the P we can write this is a paragraph that's it one paragraph is written this is the heading tag and this is the paragraph tag within a open and end like a closing tags of P I'm writing the information that would be done I have a simply few like a characters only have written here so let's see for an example like a, in output the same heading page only have written not a change to the some other file so let's see here so refresh it yeah this is the paragraph example we are seeing in h1 tag and this is the paragraph we are we have written here why we need to use the paragraph this paragraph whenever we are using we can handle this text into changing of font alignment colors all we can do many activities when it is inside the paragraph okay if i want to create one more paragraph how simple it is let's see by initiating one more p tag and write the text that's it this is second paragraph that's it one more paragraph is created here refresh wow awesomely we are getting so if i have a now multiple lines what i need to do just taking a text just keep on pasting here let's see multiple lines of paragraph just i'm taking a wow we are getting multiple lines so it's a going going away like uh, how it is even it is a showing here in the multiple lines even we are getting in a output like a same way same line only so then how to like uh, possible how to possible to control like uh, how we have uh, written multiple lines same to be displayed to at the end of like a user place yes there is a possibility of pre tag p r e that text which we have used to present how we have initiated here the same way it will be displaced let's see this is a paragraph second paragraph and so on correct now i'll go to the browser the file is already opened here so i refresh the page wow see this is a paragraph and a second and uh, the same lines how we like uh, written here same way these are the displaying it to the end user so whenever you need if uh, very simply you need to control the data you just use pre tag pre otherwise you try to apply paragraph tag like a uh, open and end brace with the p tag in the later lectures you will see like uh, how to control all these things and a more advanced like uh, applying a font color and all these all cover in css lectures why because if you are learn css and styles more professionally you will apply and you will control the text and web pages uh, uh, like uh, data in single place those i will explain you in a css uh, program classes so a basic examples i'll cover in this course to how to write and how to apply the css styles to handle your plain text all right so here i have to uh, like uh, importantly explain a main point so whenever you are writing something here as a p tag and end with the p tag so if you are not written end tag if you are not written end tag browser will not uh, give you any trouble at for uh, this uh, chrome browser so refresh it you will get the same text there is a no error you will get whereas it's not a good practice to write the this html tags open and end tag you always follow any open tag is there for you have to write for end tag if not required tags are there few i'll explain you 
So strongly remember whenever you are writing open tag you have to place any tag as well otherwise you will get an you will get an error in few of browsers once you are prepared your website and you are publicly accessible site you have inset like initiated so you don't know like a later time who will access the site so very importantly you should know and understand which browser is going to be using maybe that browser if any tag is not there that browser may not be works perfectly so strongly remember to apply all these things to write open and end tag to create the mini paragraphs so many paragraphs you can create so i'll catch you next lecture thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn formatting text what is formatting text how we are going to formatting a text like a required format maybe like a bold letters italic letters or superscript or subscript strong mark small these are the tags one by one we are going to discussing over here now so how we are making a beautification of paragraph is very very important to know to making html page very beautifully and presenting the text and aligning and showing a some thickness by applying of a strong or bold or italic fonts like a formatting we'll see here now very simply i'll show you a first a simple example this paragraph which is already available this paragraph only i'm going to apply how it is we'll see see in the browser when i refresh in the browser when i refresh here you just see this the plain text by default it will show you in times new roman font so the simply it is going to be displaying this text in particular like uh, lines so let's see i'll add more text to understand very greatly this uh, paragraph is uh, for uh, indent to creating yeah i'll type here creating the purpose of and presenting all these at one place how these are possible we'll see one by one okay so refreshing by refreshing this you may see here two lines of code so you may observe here like uh, if i'm taking entire this thing into like uh, one more time i'm pasting the same code save it like a same text yes so we have a group of text is available so how what i am trying to doing very simply first time introducing like uh, italic i tag so i tag how i am applying just very simply inside the paragraph i am taking some portion of text i am applying the italic tag how it is you just see so initiated here after p and i i am taking i open tag and end tag so i is in a end tag over here so now let's see here some text i'm putting inside like this paragraph is creating this text i'm placing inside the italic tag so what happens here save this and refresh the browser so see let's observe here this text this this paragraph is creating the purpose like a uh, till this it is making into italic so this part of portion how you want to make in a like a separate format yes it is possible to create a separate format of this text so i is applied here so the second one 
I'm going to applying with the bold like a B tag, which tag is going to be bold the text. How it is possible? Let's see. See this paragraph, second paragraph is there. No, this is second paragraph. This text I'm going to applying bold tag. How? Just write wherever you need like a B tag, and end with B. So the end tag I'm taking a cut from here, and here I'm pasting. Copy paste. So Control C is a copy. On selecting the text, if you press Control C, it will be copy. And where you want to press the cursor, and Control V is the paste. So this text only this some text I am applying B tag. It's nothing but bolding of text. Maybe you observe in Word document, this bold text will be displays you like uh, some thickness of text. So here you may observe. Just go to the browser and uh, like where it is this something paragraph this second paragraph I have applied refresh yes this is the bold text is applied so the difference between this normal plain text and applying of bold you may observe here yes is it possible to apply bold with italic yes it is possible what you need to do here you have to write italic and end tag you have to write here. So the text will be bold in italic. It will be displays. So grouping of uh, like uh, these things. So now what I am trying to doing, like um, yeah, and uh, some inside the paragraph I am going to writing some strong. So like a strong tag also similarly bold tag how it is. So where I need to write, yeah, I'll write here by writing strong. Yes, and end tag of strong S T R O N G. Yes, here I'll type it. This is strong tag. So how it will displays similarly bold. Yeah, see this is strong tag. A little bit strong means it's nothing but it's like a bold. It will be displays and. Like a few of uh, options, you may differ. Where strong will be thickness will shows more than uh, bold in real time web pages. Okay, so this is the strong tag, and uh, the new tag which is like a mark will see now. So how the mark will be applied? So inside here, like uh, I'm writing mark for text formatting of text only. These tags we are going to be use. This is marking text marking text like a mark tag which is applied over here save it refresh so how we are uh, something you may observe here it's an if it is an important any file important content or information to be very quickly to be taken action or important dates we may take a low sketch and we'll make it like a how the mark tag like using the mark thing is happened Hello thing. So by default, it is gives to you an hello. If you need any custom sizes, yes, like a custom colors, you may apply by CSS tags or not. So the marking is happened with open and end tag, which we have applied to getting a mark tag. And you want to see like a small text, how it is possible? Yes, I'm writing here. S M E A L L. Yeah. This is small text here. Yeah, save it and go to the browser and let's check. So the rest of the text is plain, and this small text is here is showing like a little bit of small rather than the regular font. If you want, you can. And now you see like a. Few product prices, maybe like uh, original price is hundred dollars. Maybe it is offered in forty nine percent or fifty percent, and uh, the price they will show you for products of uh, any e commerce portals and all. You may observe it. Such a time will use for D E L Dell tag. So how it is? Let's see. D E L tag will help you such a time. This this is product. Original 
price of hundred dollars I am explaining you a clear information for the purpose only I have written that uh, complete text otherwise you may put some text over there only hundred dollars it will be striked off and what the price it will be written in normal like uh, any of a paragraph or bond or strong text to be used to embossing the offer price so the text to be display whereas it's not applicable or it's a strike off in such cases you may use for this particular tag and the next one is in paragraphs let's see one more paragraph i am creating here this is a new paragraph so here what i am trying to do in uh, yeah for applying superset like a uh, subscript and superscript i'll show you here okay uh, super script and script text we are going to display here for this first we will see like a plain text we are displaying clear so how we are going to apply same tag name only so here like a sub sub hmm? and uh, we'll take for sub like a subscript i'll see first and applying yeah subscript i'm adding subscript and uh, superscript would be like uh, here we'll write just you p that's it and end with su p yeah this superscript is going to be inside the super this is not required. save this and see this script we have applied for uh, sub and super let's let's refresh it yes see subscript is going to be base value and a superscript is going to be upper value like a squares and all we will apply no so these things are also by writing in html it's highly possible so write all these elements also we call it as it's an elements where we can apply and see a greatness of coding so having these basics like a few of basic things to make more beautiful and uh, the requirement based on the requirement you can making the customization of your uh, like um, this paragraph alignments is so easy all right I'll catch you in the next lecture. Thank you. Hello everyone. In this lecture, you are going to learn unordered list items in HTML page. So presenting unordered list are very simple and very easy so let's see very quickly we'll see for that tag in html so i am removed of existing data so refresh the page yeah now it's ready to write an ordered list so using a group of list items in a single place in word document or any other documents we may use bullet points either arrow or tick mark or circles small small dots we may use or we may apply serial numbers as well so here by taking two categories which are available in ordered and unordered list items in html as well so here we are going to covering specific specifically here in unordered list items lecture in next lecture we see how to order make an order with the serial number or any custom number we can apply there so here just see the unordered list items how it will be present there like uh, taking a simple ul unordered list okay ul tag open and end tag so unordered list ul we have defined greatly we have defined 
So what are the items how we will display here? By putting li is a list item. There are two tags we are going to covering in this lecture. Don't be confused here. Very clearly and explain you ul is an ordered list and li is a list item. What are the list items we have to display here? Let's take school subjects or jan like a year, like a month of a year or week of the day like a number of days which are in the week Sunday, Monday, Tuesday these are the days or you may take like a countries or uh, products, fruits, anything which are the group of items if you want to display you just take either an order or like order whichever you convenient you choose appropriately the list, list of the items. So the list item I'm writing, I'm taking is in a subjects like EN English and if I want to add one more item inside the UL only open and end tag of UL we are inserting here for list item science yes and history yeah yalla you have to take yalla yes three things I have added so go back to browser and let's see the output how it is displays wow see this is the paragraph and uh, this notification i have to change it so here you un ordered list example so this paragraph is also not required so remove it save it refresh it wow unordered list items so these are the way we can get the list items if i want to display more items just simply you can add one more item yeah like uh, Hindi Tamil like uh, list item of uh, computer music and uh, what are the things like uh, <clears throat> drawing and more many of activities lectures are there which I which maybe I'm not covering here so accordingly what are the subjects you have in your computer subject you just take here in the all the list of items in our practical exercise also you try to practice and apply over here once you save this document, refresh over here, you will get all the unordered list, list items with a bullet point. So I hope so. It's very simple and very easy lecture. In the next lecture, we'll see how to place like uh, show a list order. Order list like uh, order list like items will be displayed like 1, 2, 3, 4. That items we are going to be displaying. There. So I'll, uh, it's very simple lecture, I think so. Catch you in the next lecture. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to learn order the list items in HTML. So this is also very simple. How we discussed about unordered list, the same way order the list items also. Whereas a few of options and the type of presentation of list items will be changed over here. So grouping and categorizing these things we'll see here how it is possible to making like uh, either small dot or numbers one two three or uppercase letters like uh, abc list like orders or small case orders and roman number orders and uh, lower case roman number orders these all are possibilities i'm going to explaining you now so for this instead of unordered we are making ordered list how it is possible we'll see the common heading I am putting here, HTML tutorial. So order the list example. For this order, what we do? OL is in a tag. O L is in a ordered list. That's it. Open tag and closing tag. Save it and go to browser and run it. See, 
order the list example is very simply we are getting instead of uh, dots 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 items we are getting here all the list items are same i am not changed anything over there so very simply easily this way we are getting like uh, this ordered list items and here i'll show you instead of seeing like 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have in a facility to change its type of numbers like a type by type taking the type attribute it's a properties we have to change some formats of the text by getting instead of getting small dots or numbers so if you want to get if you want to get instead of numbers by default numbers will display you have seen already in a output let's see here so for this number, other than number, if you want to get capital A, B, C in this way, the order of items, just go to change type A. From it will be initiate from A, B, C. Wow, what a beauty. So if you want to get, if you want to get small A, B, C, yes, let's put small A, save it, here we go, reload. What a wonderful. So greatly we are getting. So no, I don't want to get small a and b. I want to get instead of Roman i. Yes. Now let's check it. Capital I I have placed here and reload the page. Wow, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is a Roman numbers we are getting. So it is a capital Roman number. Instead of applying capital, our small Roman numbers also will get a small i. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the lower case of Roman numbers. You may observe how the list item to be present in your criteria by making of the categorization, you will display this tags. I think it's very simple to easy to grouping and categorizing the items, you will display in your HTML pages. I'll, I'll catch you in the next lecture. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to learn classes in HTML. Specifically, classes are from CSS lectures. So why I am introducing here to making a beautification of paragraph specifically I have added two lectures over here. In HTML, plain HTML while you are learning in this course, like uh, you may thought that and you want to apply more colors and for this text and making more beautiful of your web pages. So here very simply a few points only I will cover here where we will cover all the things in our CSS course. So this CSS like, uh, like applying of this CSS style and two HTML elements how this is very simple and easy you will see, you'll see now. Let's see, I'm taking a very simple like uh, paragraph I'm taking. So we have uh, written a paragraph, you know. So the same way p tag I'm taking. This is a like uh, a program we planned for, plan to run this weekend. This is the one paragraph I have prepared here. So this paragraph, if I run this, so I'll take it classes example. So if I run this, what I'll get here, very simple. This is the program we plan to run this weekend. So for this, if I want to apply a few color or font to be bold, how it is possible by making by making a very simple and uh, easiest way to by making a very simple and easiest way to like uh, getting something like uh, you know colors I'm taking CSS classes so taking inside the head taking moving into inside the head here I'm writing CSS script so how I'll write see take a tag 
script tag which is a c r i p t script type so just wait so we have to take like a style this is not a script javascript we can take a script so style s t y l e yeah style type attribute is text oblique css so inside the style yeah inside the style what i am trying to doing just i am putting a dot intro my class name whenever you are using inside the style by putting dot and continue continuously without space continuously you are writing some name will be treated as a class that's it so this class is having open brace and end brace like uh, curly braces open and end curly braces inside we have to write the code so so put open and end curly braces and uh, inside the cursor is there hit enter you will be inside the prompt will be inside the cursor so here i am writing two attributes two properties only not more than that so color color as a value like a, as a parameter attribute and color is to be blue which color you want you can take it blue violet burly sky blue dark blue anything you may take it yeah sky blue i am taking okay and uh, and font weight see these all are like uh, f o n t i f o n weight w e i g h t yes font weight how much you want you can inherit initial or uh, some number also you can give something like bold i am giving all right this class i am created with two attribute values one is color name value pair also we can say instead of sky blue color you may take like a html color codes open google and uh, check with that let's see like uh, any time you may open the google and uh, check with the color color wheel yeah this color wheel like uh, canva is there and uh, adobe color wheel is there so many so many things are there you have to make a very quick uh, working with that see this color wheel you will get such a combination of colors if you turn this wheel which color you want there you can stop which color of combinations like a first one color if it is this another color what is the color will be uh, help you to see the eye catching eye catching colors we can say that so choosing this colors if you are stopping somewhere else if you want these two colors means see the first color major color is this one this one and the second color is this one so which color you want you need not to worry and uh, facing so much nothing to be worry about it so simply you just take this copy like by clicking here you will get this code if you are applying go to back and uh, applying here that code like uh, how just paste it that's it your this color will be going to be applied there so first i'll show you in a sky blue then i will uh, discuss more and more to applying of this colors also so let's see this paragraph i am not applied any like uh, this class is not applied over here so till it will be displaced in a plane only yeah refresh plane correct so now come back to here how to apply this class very simply very simply inside the p tag type class equal to double quotes inside the double quote what you need to write this class name this class name is intro you have to type class name intro that's it i am applying this class to this paragraph text to be display the style i am applying here so go back here reload wow sky blue color is displaying have you observed here sky blue color so if i want to let's see color wheel color will try to apply yeah this color if i am trying to apply how take of take a, take this code copy and come back to here and paste save it that's it so go back here and reload the page wow this color is applied so those i think uh, these two are very nearby and uh, similar colors so i'll make a move to here mm, yeah some around this color will take take a copy and come back replace with the color code save it and 
go back to our page and reload wow color is applying what a beauty so instead of color we have applied font weight it's a bold so how simply we are going to be applying css style to our html page so if you are up like a, by writing the classes why what are the advantages you may observe here if i am going to preparing one more paragraph this is sample para graph to test class from css like a style sheet okay if i run this you will get normal why because we are not applied any class see the same class i will apply to this paragraph also how simple and beauty just take a copy of this class and apply inside the p tag yeah it's require the space save it run it that's it so this is the advantage of uh, applying of classes whenever you are implementing one time for class many number of times you can up, you reuse the same class to wherever you require and uh, also you may observe in css lectures in web there is a lot of uh, attributes are available making colors background colors fonts and all making like a beautifications so try yourself we'll catch you in the next lecture with how to apply ids with the divisions or more more comp like uh, complexity problems we can resolve with this ids to applying large scale of attributes let's see i'll catch you there thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture we are going to learn classes with id so classes lecture is already discussed in previous lecture so here we are going to learning in css ids how we are going to be apply ids this is very simply i will extending previous program so see here i am taking a simple div element so open div and and div tag so this end div tag i'm going to taking here so this div section is having two paragraphs all right so let's refresh it yeah so nothing is happened here like a uh, in output nothing with display so see here i am writing a id see earlier section lecture we have discussed like uh, whenever we are putting dot to writing some name it will be treated as class so here for id if we are putting hash if we are putting hash and writing some name and open an end parenthesis by writing in this way this will be called as id so will be treated as this is id all right so like uh, inside the id to apply for the, why this div is implemented here for open and closing and open tag and closing tag this id i am going to applying for this division all right this div tag i am going to applying see how i am applying here like a color font two attributes we have used there already so here i am trying to applying background color yeah these all are properties only like uh, attributes also we can see there see like uh, background dc background color image horizon all you may try one by one you may try to apply so the background color i am putting something like uh, from there color wheel color also you can take it and uh, you apply here okay a very simple color i am taking and uh, padding so the spacing of a top left all these things we can take it like around surroundings of this border uh, we are getting like a 20 px padding surrounding all the surroundings will be covered like uh, text will not be touch any uh, borders for that the purpose we'll use for padding so now this id name is top so this id i'm going to applying for this div so how i can apply here div so by writing id equal to what is the name of the id top 
see here in the hashtag you may see top is a top is in a name of the id so that id i am going to applying over here so id equal to double quotes top top so now let's save it and reload the page wow see these the uh, this border around it's a showing something like uh, id is applied for these two paragraphs how beauty it is see uh, if i want to change the background color a uh, very light color if i want how what i do just go to color wheel and uh, go to any of the light background color yeah very light so let's see this one i am taking the small one and uh, i'll replace over here with this save it and go to reload now it's showing something like very similar colors to our so choose it accordingly what is the color you require monographic so many colors you will get there tradic and uh, so many colors you are getting no so very light color and opposite to red you have to choose opposite to red you have to choose otherwise uh, you will face some typical exercises which color if you are good at color selection that would be very grateful to making a more wonderful websites yes somewhat a little bit good i am not good at the choosing of colors so i am choosing something to be understanding how it is going to be applied these things i am choosing and applying i am applying here for color schemes so the padding why we taken for the bottom and top and left right it will follows to 20 px space it will give you in surrounding the box you will get the text if you want to make more uh, paragraphs you can inside the tab uh, for this applying of this you can use it and if you want to apply the same colors of uh, another div yes you can take one more div and this div you can write inside something in by creating something a paragraphs anything anything here you may write okay for this if you want to apply just you just write down id equal to some name of the id that's it when you come back here refresh it will be extends why because it's a side by side only no so it's extending otherwise uh, if you want to make it some space yes you can space uh, like hr or br you may apply it all right i'll see you in the next lecture so try to practice and take apply of your text by making more beautif beautification in your html paragraphs thank you hello everyone welcome here this is a very simple and easy lecture anyhow you have to know and understand about the comment lines in HTML also. Why this is an important lecture? Like uh, every comment line, wherever you are implementing something for in your HTML page structure, to presenting some data, or image, or any other section, where you have to write what is the purpose you are implementing that. At the HTML code only, if it is written, it's a great practice for HTML professionals. So let's see. Like, uh, what are the comment lines? Why we require to write inside the HTML code, and uh, will they display at browser end user or not? We'll see now. Let's see. So, comment lines will be like uh, will be here, like less than, ha like a uh, exclamatory mark, dot dot, like a dash dash, and dash dash with end, like a. Uh, ending tag it's a opening tag for like a comment line and end tag for like closing tag for html comment line so here what you observe this is a comment line so this comment line is not going to be displaying to the end user save this and run like a reload the page yeah anywhere here these two paragraphs are here anyhow yes paragraph 1 2 and this comment line is displaying there no no comment line 
so this way if you are preparing some paragraph in some purpose so write down this paragraph is the purpose and prepared by the purpose of this and who is in like prepared this paragraph uh, like uh, design or writing or changes or modifications whatever the information you want to put there you can add a comment line and write your text and if you want to temporarily you want to stop presenting this paragraph what you do you need you need not to delete entire the code what you do at the beginning point you just take a comment line by taking less than exclamatory mark dash dash add till what line of source you want to make the comment yes put a comment line for starting point and ending point so if you save this and run it that first paragraph is this paragraph is not going to be visible so save it run it wow what a wonderful you are also making a great coding if you don't want to put these two paragraphs are not going to be display put this comment line here that end closing tag here so this this one also will not be displaced no more so later time if you want to present any of paragraph just unblock like uh, cut from here and which one you want to display you just display it enabling enabling and disabling the things by putting a comment you will be so how simple and easy to applying comment lines in html there are multiple types of uh, single line multi line comments you can apply wherever you want to start to end hopefully for the purpose we will we may comment the lines for which is already available and the second one is by putting something more descriptive line to which is structure what is the purpose we are intended to create it these things we are going to be adding at comment lines here i think it's very simple and easy lecture we apply here thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn how to add and uh, how to insert images in your html pages so it's a very important to handle and control and adding many images to your html pages wherever you require to add so here i will discuss you by adding an image it's a very simple and easy technique by adding these images also you would like to know more information how to set a path of the image so very clearly you need to understand this concepts over here so let's start to like uh, interacting with images okay so using yeah i'm removing this uh, paragraph uh, yeah this is the sample paragraph only i'm placing here no props so after the paragraph i'm using a simple html tag which is img img tag is using to apply to present image to your html page so by pressing tab it will asking you src attribute src attribute so image tag will follow src attribute why the image file name image name like image file which is having with the extension of either jpg or png these are the file extensions you may have i'll show you those things also with that you need to present here like uh, the name of the file so here we need a uh, image to display so how we will get an image let me see a sample images i'll get it for you so go to google and just type here for uh, which image we'll see fruits oranges orange fruit we'll see okay orange fruit so these are the orange fruits images so which image this is a very important this is a very very important for any one who are learning and using google images so none of all the images you shouldn't use here at 
from the Google. So some images may have in a copyright uh, like a, a copyright uh, things, uh, their own properties. You shouldn't use it. So how you need to get an image from Google which you want to freely use. So go to tools. Here you may get like a type. It's a any type. So user rights. Yes, this user rights. Creative common license. Creative common license which is absolutely freely you can use all these images. So the purpose some organizations may put and someone who wants to share the free data they will put some their images to get an access freely. So here user rights are creative common license anyone can get these images and use. So just see here I am just opening this image. I am opening this image just taking right click save image as save image as and uh, I am going to my HTML directory here I am saving as orange fruit just I am renaming orange fruit it's a JPG file save type it's showing like JPG file correct so let it be the same orange and save it now the image is saved go to our like a uh, HTML lectures folder minimize these things now html c here you will get this folder if you open this you will see the oranges awesome so this file you just right click and check with the properties this file you may check it and uh, with the properties see the general you may find like a type of the file is jpg file dot jpg which is an extension this is very important when you are interacting with external files to your HTML pages. It may be documents, PDF or images with a different type of images, audio, video files, anything. So strongly remember these cases. Okay. So here you require to like uh, add something the extension to be like .jpg is important and it's a lower case. So we'll follow. So this image I am going to adding to our HTML page. Let's go to the file. This source. What is the file name? Yeah. Go to the file like a folder. This is the file name. So capital R. How? Take a rename and take a copy of the file name. And put inside over here. Orange.jpg. This way you have to give the file name. Okay. This way you have to give the file name. Now save it and go to the browser and go to the our browser and reload it. Yeah, where is our oranges? Wow, orange is coming, but it is on a very large image. It is showing. So this is if you, if the text is hundred percent, the image is displaying here. It's a large image. It is going to be displaying. So how we need to control this image? Let me check. I'm adding very quickly. I'll add two parameters over here to setting of. Uh, width is some around like uh, around like uh, 50 percent I'll put here now and uh, height the two uh, more attributes I'm adding here okay so some let's see the 50 percent and 50 percent let width and height higher added here so refresh it so yes if I'm putting something yeah so the image is perfectly it is showing if you if you want to reduce more like around 20 percent yes you can put it also you may apply like percentage or px also yes pixel wise also you will get an images yeah so it's a very conveniently how the product we are going to be displaying this way if you want to like uh, display the same image again you just take a copy of this tag and paste one more time that's it you will get one more image there wow so if you want to get the same image twice again four orange images if you want to display you will take a copy and paste it go here reload the page wow four images so let's see i'll take a new image over here and uh, mm, i'll take like uh, apple yeah apple fruit i'll take it so which is a free one only I will go it go over here if any one of our license if I used like uh, respective properties are there itself I'm not uh, claiming anything uh, for the education purpose only we are using this 
purely understood about it. So this apple I'm going to saving. Yeah, take a copy and save to our HTML directory with the name of apple dot jpg. Yeah, apple dot jpg. Save it. So we can use here like a name apple apple. So save this and reload. Wow, apple is here. So awesomely it's we are getting. So in between also I'll add apple. So we'll get like a good good view. A great view we'll see now. Yeah, reload. Wow. So this way, what are the products you want to display at the image level in your HTML page? Yes, absolutely, perfectly, you may display your products very easily. I tell you, like very easily. If you want to make it big or small, you can adjust the sizes, like width and height of the image properties. Proportions of the image, you may change. Got it? So here, I suggest you to, if you are adding any of your images inside a single folder called image, like many of the images would go there. So you just create an image folder. There you can move these two things to this image folder. That images to be moved into the images folder. Now how you will write the directory in front of this uh, item, like a name of the file, you just add images. That's it. Let's check it first. Let's check the with one. So nothing we are getting here. So what is the folder name I'm given here? Images. Yes. So images. Yeah. So let me check with this path. Save it. No. Yes. Just check with the like uh, this one. Directly is it getting in a path? Yeah, so you can put images as a directory with forward slash in front of rest of. Whenever you are writing something code, don't write all the things. And again, if any corrections, you need you need not to repeat all the things. Test with any one component first, which you are uh, which you are getting in a proper required output or not. Then you take to apply the thing to all the rest of the tags. Okay. So if I'm taking a copy of these things and pasting again, same products may be like uh, uh, apply again. Just reload. Wow. How I'm getting all the products. If I want to take a multiple copy, I think you know, you are very well for to do these activities. Taking a copy of these lines, pasting. So copy paste will help us to making more products. More and more. Wherever you need to add new products there inside an image folder, there you need to change this name and put the extension. Maybe JPG, maybe PNG would be also there. So I hope it's a very easy by setting path of externals, pages. Also you may check with the web pages, different web pages also you use the same file path for images to display. Same images you may apply to display anywhere in the website. Same image. For that, inside a project directory, you try to create a single common folder for entire project images verb should be here itself. Then later time, you won't confuse. If you are in mind having any image means you will come here and find the images. I hope it's very simple and easy to add images and with the proportions of the sizes and all, it's very easy to you. I think we'll catch you in the next lecture. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, we are going to discussing about creating forms in HTML. So it's a very simple and easy tag in HTML to creating more forms. How to design and present user access web page this form we'll see now. See here I have a created like a, a simple HTML form here for a great a new example. So the source code here I will write. So, so what are the forms and why we require to create forms? It's a great question you have to know. 
So the required HTML web forms for regist user registration and uh, login form like username and password will enter and uh, submit and uh, re reset password form and transaction form any data you want to submit into the database or to interact to send any other email and all we require a form so html using html we can design a great forms how it is we'll see now let's see by writing a form tag in html which is available by pressing tab you will get open like a first tag open tag and closing tag so in between we'll write a form something like a form input types so first i'm creating a label see label tag using label tag i'm creating like a name or name of the student so the label will display at output go to the output and check the output you will get a label the simple how we have seen uh, labels the same way and here we want to like uh, create in a simple input an input text box how we will get using input type so this input type is tag is like input type we need to define this attribute type it's a text we are going to entering here so the controller name input controller name it is a name try to give the all the names in lower case letters only while designing the web form which is very convenient why because later time you need to access this names and id controls of your html whenever you are interacting with the dynamic code maybe php or java or some other any programming language these ids are very important while you are practicing putting a lower case letters only without spaces so great experience you will get later time okay so input text box one input text box i have added here so go to a form and check here so you are getting this is a text box something if you are entered here it will become here so this is the label similarly if you want to create one more what you are, what you do create a label and uh, email okay so input input type email and the name also email yeah save it go here and save yeah something like a name email parameter something you will get in the email text box so this way how you require to prepare like a number of columns number of columns you may prepare here one by one for the names and the input type you may take like a select like a label label file upload like uh, upload i think uh, upload i'll ticket upload so here import type file you may take and uh, photo i'm taking as a name so go here and refresh wow upload so choose file automatically it is coming it's a default controller in html when you are choosing type is file you will get automatically this upload facility when you click here it will be redirected to the path of the file it's a design you are creating you are not making any functionality so it's a design view so great experience you may get it so so many components like input uh, html elements are there input types in this course we are going to discussing more input types in later time so this is about to open and end tag by putting a form a very clearly you may design it we'll catch you in the next lecture thank you hello you welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn mark q tag examples so what is mark q tag why we require to use mark q tag in html most of the websites you may observe while seeing any offers or any flash sales that will be like a moving from right to left very quickly it will uh, around it's like an automation 
so like uh, option in html this mark util is nothing but the same thing it will applies so the mark util like a uh, tag when once you applied from right to left the text keep on passing by default it will be if you want to change the direction yes you can change it so how it is possible let's see quick one by one example we'll see quickly so i'm taking a simple within a body yeah maybe paragraph tag or mark you tag you may take it directly wherever you want you can write this uh, mark you tag maybe like a header most of the persons they may use or else somewhere else any like uh, notifications great example for notifications for for putting some top like bottom to top it will always scroll it by showing a latest 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 news offers promotions anything which will makes like a uh, more interactive to the user user i it will catch it immediately something is happening here the i will go there and read it so the purpose only mark you tag will be added into the html websites so how we are going to be add this uh, mark you tool let's see there is a uh, tag is m a r q u e e and putting open and end tag i'm sorry m a r q u e e yeah yes this is the mark you tag open and closing tag and now here and uh, this is a flash sale for december okay so save it save it and go to the browser and go to refresh the page wow it's coming it's coming this is a flash sale for december if you want to apply we have seen like uh, applying of classes and ids to making more beautification of these lines yes you apply to css to this uh, line of code greatly you may apply for id classes and all or any like a uh, blinking also you may apply to this for that you may refer any google like uh, so many options provisions are available whichever you comfortable to apply yes you can apply there so there is an a speed and speed up and slow down and uh, making in a like uh, what we can say that uh, timing and all you may apply use it so go through the advanced steps of mark you tool then you will uh, get a great option there and i will show you like uh, bottom to top how it will happens so for that i'm taking mark you open and uh, end tag of mark you for the direction changing the sale like uh, the new promotions are happening now okay happening now something i am writing for a text purpose so if i run this by default this one also will come both are coming one by one correct both are coming one by one if i refresh so i'm doing like uh, the second one i'm doing like uh, changing of the direction for that one attribute i'm adding like a uh, direction so this direction uh, i may put like uh, up you may give up down some few of uh, provisions are available wow 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 so keep on it's running see how it is running so the same place yes you may put some portion of uh, the box and there you may add this it will go keep on bottom to top okay maybe if i put uh, down let me check i am not uh, example tested here any time yes down is also coming if you need so the direction you may change the direction and you may apply uh, in your own web page and practice if where the requirement is there you can add over there all right i think it's a mark you tool is also very simple and easy by taking a simple example i'll catch you in the next lecture thank you
Hello everyone. Welcome here. In this lecture, I am going to teach you how simple we are going to be taking a text area input type. This is also very important. So this lecture I will go to explain in forms tag. So the forms we have seen, let me run these forms. So just I am taking a name of the form. Yeah, forms, yes, this is the forms. See, if I am taking address like multiple lines, address in multiple lines, I want to enter something in uh, the particular like, uh, you know, st street number, area, location, uh, like a state, district or pin code at the single box only. How it is possible? So maybe if you are trying to put in inside the, like uh, some uh, like a text box, it's taking like uh, here itself we need to, if I am enter, something like uh, enter will not take and uh, it will goes on to it won't display specifically so the further purpose there is an option is available for like uh, address like see not only address any comment if user wants to put see input type is text area text area so this text area, yes, we can take it like uh, not input. So directly we can use in HTML here, like uh, taking a space and uh, yeah, T E X T. Yes, text area. So here in in like uh, maybe there is an a uh, provisions. What we call it as some provisions. Uh, like uh, what I can say. Something like let me check it first testing yeah just wait testing the information few options are also available let me check i'll show you all the clear details yes let's see is it displaying something so here what i'm trying to doing like uh, i'm going to first i'm going to showing you a label like uh, i'm putting like a add uh, sorry label address okay so this I have given and this text area we may use for ID or name ID or name we can take how like a text box controller we have taken same way ID or name both controllers HTML any input types are these IDs you may take ID or name anything is possible okay address I have given so save this and go over here and reload it one we need a one break line over here take a copy paste refresh so address if i am i can easily enter something over here yeah something i can enter here if you need a big if you need a big one if you need a big one of text box how it is possible yes let's come over here and uh, take it uh, take it rows how many rows you need you can put the rows maybe five maybe six maybe ten accordingly as your requirement yes it's making big like how much like a strength of this text area you need you just put here for this text box multi-line text box also we can call it as this text area you may put in different places in the form design one is address another one is remarks and another one is uh, email where subject after the subject email is come, uh, preparing user the design box is also you may apply for this multi-line text box this text box may expand yes you may type much you will get like a right scroll automatically see the vertical is a, like a vertical thing is you are getting and you may expand like this way if you need so in real time no one will get it but uh, if you need yes you can possible to expand it so and one more thing is you want to present any text in multi line to the user you use to text area and put inside a text and display to the user like a predefined an already address if you want to present there is a possibility here you need to uh, add sample text to sample text to where it is where it is what happening yeah sample text to 
present yeah present to the uh, user like a browser okay so come back here reload see here you need to add sample text to present something it will be if user wants to add something he'll enter this way you can use this multi-line text box all right wherever it is required in real-time concepts I'm explaining you very clearly and understandable purpose so use this as in a reference I'll catch you in the next lecture it's a great lecture where we are going to preparing a table structures how to prepare rows and columns with the combination of a table it's nothing but an excel sheet see you there thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn table tag in html how to represent a table in by applying of a html tags a table which we can create like a like you may observe like excel spreadsheets how rows and columns are presenting in this way if you want to present the data in your html page you have to create a very simple and uh, like a like a structured data very clearly rows and columns where it will be applied it will be called as structured data so how you are going to be like a spreadsheet like rows and columns you will create so let's see i'll show you by creating a table and a table tag here it will be like applied like a few of tags a combination of table should come with few of tags which are come with table tag like a uh, for creating of rows tr tag and uh, for uh, headings we'll use for a th tag and inside like a uh, inner row we need to split into the cells multiple cells how excel cells are coming how excel cells are coming these cells we'll use for td so very quickly we'll see one by one how it will comes let's see i'll show you a simple example for table so take a table yes open and closing tag inside the table i'm creating one table row tr is nothing but table row inside a table row i'm creating first headings i require no so th i'm taking so the th i'm showing like name and second column may be like uh, email and the third one it is like a uh, th it's in a country yep three columns are enough so if you if i'm making more columns means it will take much time to enter the data so the three columns if i refresh name email country three columns are coming in a particular row these are the row tr is nothing but it's creating table row so within a row for a heading we have completed so the second row i'm taking as second row for data for the name i'm using for td table data so for the td i'm putting like a my name first and td at gmail.com email and and from i'm putting something here for usa as a sample data i am inserting here so one table data i have a, one row i have taken i have added data here so let's refresh it wow name shaker email it's a email.com and country us so here if i am adding one more data one more row how simple it is within a table see take a copy of row and paste it wow how simple how sweet see i'll change a name of john and email john at gmail maybe put from john from uk go to here save reload wow data is coming 
how beauty it is so if i want to add one more i'll take like a mary mary alice yeah go here mary and uh, mary ah and uh, which area from something like a new country will take it here like uh, canada so save this reload it see how it is coming we are creating on row row by row we are creating here we are adding our data so with the help of by creating a simple table like a, like a table like a, what i can say that a very simply i can say that like a border if you want if i want to see border if i want to see see here in the output we didn't see any border here so for the border very simply for table we just take a space okay and put the border there is a attribute one that's it by default border you will get here nothing to worry yes you are getting if you need to make more uh, like uh, applying css and collapsing and all the things if you want you can use the css for that so many ready made forms ready made tables are available in html take the format and uh, applying of css you can take a tables and uh, apply as you were wish all right this is about to do table source code so in the next lecture we'll see more examples for the next topic thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn links in html so link means to connect the main resources of a path the resources where it is available you are placing a link to open or to getting user very easily by putting this link items where you may observe the menu items in the top of html websites all the menu items are having backend in links or the sites or like the html pages inside the project so how the links and the way of original page of web page how we are getting we are going to be learning here in links different properties are there for respective functionalities we are going to discussing one by one over here in html link means nothing but hyperlinks so by by clicking this link you may redirect to the same page or other page which is referred mouse over to the link cursor will change in a small hand symbol icon you may observe the links the link not only the text shown it's may be like uh, you may be put like a uh, image or any other gif or any other animation or plain text if you are applied like a css facilities of a css scripts so simply i'll show you a simple syntax for link how to prepare a link let's see just link that's it it may be like a, a style sheet or type of uh, css or href also you may use and also you may write very simply in link r using a tag so by t uh, like sorry it's not a every tag so it's a, a tag means a h reference sorry a h r e f so now this anchor tag a means it's a anchor tag maybe like a referencing of h r ref h r e f hypertext referencing so the link how it will be reference so end tag would be a so the link we have to specify here maybe for an example i'll give my website http www systems.com my website page i'm given sorry http colon forward slash forward slash it's a fully qualified domain name 
this is called fully qualified domain name or website name so here in between i'll type hari systems so this will be displayed to the user he wants to click so let's see save this and refresh over here yes so the link tag example see the link is displaying and when i am placing my mouse see my mouse is also going to be move making like a small hand symbol this way you may observe whenever your mouse is surrounding it's going on maybe you are finding a small hand that would be like a link option or when you click it some action will happens if i click this i will redirect to like harisystems.com it's my website you may find like many of tutorials and you will get like html even css interview questions and answers and online or offline courses like a real time like with the faculty based one to one trainings all are facilitated so here you go back and this example if you are like if i click this same window it is coming like a here only it is coming if you want to put some properties if you are added like a target equal to underscore blank yes if you are given this option this attribute property to your h like a anchor tag link how what happens now save and reload if you click this it will be remain same you will be opened a new tab and there you will get an uh, uh, opened by the system link which you have provided see this link is here only this page and here it is opened by harisystems.com not only the hari system any page any like uh, fb google or uh, youtube any name you may put and create your own links in a single page by clicking that page it will be open new tab and uh, automatically you will get the website website is open so this way you can create a links much more so instead of using external websites if you want to put a local html pages how you will put a href here you may put your local html page that is also very easy like uh, i may give you like a forms uh, registration form yeah registration form okay and uh, here i'll put like a forms.html so this is my project directory is having like uh, this html form forms.html so if i click this link and a target i'll give like uh, otherwise it will open there itself underscore blank if i given i'm sorry uh, underscore blank hey sorry sorry why it is not coming it's playing with me yep yes save it reload yeah registration form i'll take it a break line otherwise uh, br like uh, <coughs> yeah save it refresh now if i click registration form it will open a new tab and the form is displaying here so how beauty how beauty so this way you can also link with the internal forms whichever the internal form in your project you may put all the links and you may display at a single place yes that is also highly possible how the image we have a placed the image like a folder different folders and we are getting an image the same way you may apply so it's i think it's a very simple and easy lecture we'll catch you in the next lecture thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn a simple and easy navigation tag so this is navigation tag is simply by writing here like you may see after the links like uh, it's a nav tag so like menu items you may observe like menu items to preparing you may observe in like um, many of web pages how these are will be created using nav tag only it will be created 
So navtag will follow all the links together at one place. You may put like a, some nav element. It is intended only for major block of navigation links only. Browser such as a screen renders the disabled users can use this element to determine whether omit the initial rendering of this content. So you are using to a, like a single place. Maybe the all the links putting like a sing, at a single place and accessing in different uh, so places and different sources. You may uh, whenever you are placing this navbar, you may access the forms at the place. Set of navigation links we are going to discussing now by putting this nav tag. So nav tag, it's a navigation or you may call it as menu. Let's see how we are used inside a nav like a href tags the same way we will write the links over here. So let's see the anchor links I am adding here href yes and here I will put some name for this link like uh, for an example uh, about page a b o u t about us and I am taking a quick copy a quick of copy like uh, maybe if I am created I am not created like uh, about dot html for putting like all the content which is relevant to the about page I will put here and I am taking a copy of this paste which will save us the time so this is page I will call it as products oh sorry all the lowercase letters only you try to apply otherwise you may confuse it we are going to use it as products page different html pages we are adding think it okay and uh, you may see like uh, images or gallery of your products you may put here images and new pages what you need to do all you have to create pages of uh, this HTML and present here the links all right so one more page is like a contact C O N T S C T. yeah contact this text is going to be this text is going to be visit uh, visible to the user rest of the code will not be so refresh Wow so it's an assigning order and the menu is going to be displaying here one by one this nav tag you may apply for all the pages at the top so once you are preparing one place by taking this nav tag to repeatedly taking a copy or independent if it is dynamic programming you will know like a, a single page can be possible to write the all the code at single place all right so it's a very simple and putting like the things at single place in a menu item is very easy to convenient to the user to access all the pages whichever the user require so it's a simple i'll uh, see you at next lecture thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture, you are going to learn a simple concept of reserved keywords or reserved characters of HTML entity. What are the reserved characters in HTML entities? If you want to use such characters to display on HTML, by default like uh, you may observe the tag, any of tag you may see, like uh, this tag is having less than and greater than and this text only is going to be presenting at output this tag is not going to be displaying yes perfect so if you want to present less than and greater than how you will uh, handle such a scenario if you if you want to present some text like uh, if I ask you to present like less than or greater than how you will present it so it's a very like uh, some characters which are reserved in HTML such a characters of entities if you want to display it's so very simple and easy to present over there like uh, see I'll show you like an entity useful HTML characters and entity how it is possible to display let's see like uh, to display like a uh, less than we must to write we must to write like uh, what I need to write like a ampersand symbol is nothing but ampersand symbol and LT for less than 
एल टी टर्मिनेट ओके एल टी एंड टर्मिनेट लेट्स चेक इट रिफ्रेश वाओ वी आर गेटिंग वी आर गेटिंग एंड फॉर द ग्रेटर देन हाउ इट विल बी डिस्प्लेस लाइक आई टेक ए ब्रेक लाइन हियर एंड जी टी फॉर ग्रेटर देन जी टी फॉर ग्रेटर देन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिस्प्ले एल लेस देन एंड ग्रेटर देन हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल टू डिस्प्ले दिस एच टी एम एल रिजर्व यूजफुल एच टी एम एल कैरेक्टर्स एंटिटीज येस इट इज पॉसिबल टू डिस्प्ले सम रिजर्व की वर्ड्स सो दीज आर द थिंग्स यू कैन डिस्प्ले and if you want to display ampersand symbol and symbol also call it as ampersand so how it is possible let's check ampersand a m p that's it and put a break line over here yeah save it and run it wow we are getting ampersand also yes i think it is visible now so this way i'll uh, give you like a uh, few of uh, more examples some currency maybe like uh, you want to display like some pounds how it is possible take a ampersand and evo u and d pound terminate so put a break line to get this pound character wow we are getting and if i ask you to prepare like a something to be display like a something like euro just type euro yes and similarly if you want to get something like you know like a yen yes not yes yen put this we'll get yen also yen and uh, few many of many of are available you may find like in google whichever you require yes you are getting and uh, i'll show you like yes which is a very important one is like uh, registered trademark r with the circle how it will possible put ampersand r g r e g not reference r e g you will get registered trademark symbol yeah refresh the page yes you are getting if you want to see all rights reserved such a places you will use for footer so the footer copyrights yes c also is very important so the same thing ampersand and you have to write copy yep so you will get this copy also in output go over here reload yes copyright symbol all rights reserved this symbol uh, many times will use in uh, uh, footer items you may observe uh, like uh, many of websites all rights reserved at r r c copyrights these things will be applied so many of the useful characters and entities are available in web so find it one by one and apply wherever you require to use i think it's very simple and easy lecture thank you these are the lines hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn div tag examples so what is div why re why we require to use this div tag so div tag will help you a great experience in html coding so nowadays most of the form divisions are going used by applying div tag only there is a no table structures and making a functionality of the framing like alignment of uh, images or uh, like a uh, paragraph text alignments and all are happening with the div tag only you may observe the latest templates of html any of free one check with the source code you will see all the div tags elements only using div tag you may apply the call spans and applying of styles you will control the data or like a page alignments why the div tag is so popular means easy to apply css classes and easy to expand more div tags to applying of uh, these things you may get like a fully like a controlled environment you may prepare for 
responsive websites all right so here definition and usage of div tag is defines a division or a section in a html document define a division or a section for a particular area in entire web page like area wise it will be divides tag is used to containing of html elements and applying of uh, css this all will be like uh, applied over here so it's a very easy to apply this div tag let's see a very simple example quickly i'll show you something by making of a portion of inside the div tag i'll put something like one paragraph hello this is a graph and one more i'll put like a something uh, something what i can yes so yeah one h3 tag i'll apply here okay any tag we may take it this is inside a div tag so these two are we have placed if we if i want to apply something like a uh, what i can say like any background controlling or text alignment these things i can con possibly control these two elements very easily by putting inside a div so div a portion i'm taking open tag and closing tag i'm adding here for this div i'm taking an id or class anything id or class anything we may we may put in css tag so for this css how i'll take style like uh, we may put like a tag yes style yeah this input style i'll create like uh, one class is my div open and end braces inside i'm putting some properties of border like uh, attribute properties inside i'm adding border like a uh, 5px any 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 like a uh, number you may take outset is red outset like uh, color is red and uh, background color for this uh, um, div area of portion of element it's a light blue which is my favorite color and uh, text alignment three properties of uh, i'm applying center right left these are the property values you may apply for here just i'm writing center alignment this div this div class i'm adding this div class i'm adding here like my class name is my div save it and reload the page all everything i have written so if i given my alignment if i given my this alignment as left what you observe here if i reload this this text will be on left side just see refresh wow if I give in right, you will be getting right. Center I am putting. So background, outfit color, whatever at the color you want to change. Yes, you can change it. You may try yourself with the different properties. With the different properties for this div, div element. If you are creating one more div element, if you need to like uh, apply with the different class properties, yes, you can apply. This class properties different uh, your class properties if you want yes you can create one more class and apply for that div greatly it will is possible so you try to apply for like a few of uh, div elements and applying different classes for different div elements so you will clearly get in a great idea how to do the such a functionality i wish you good luck i'll catch you in the next lecture thank you Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to learn how to add Google map to your contact page. So HTML page, how you are going to be adding this Google map and linking by seeing a for purpose of a freely we are using and freely we are linking. If you need a really a commercial version, yes, you need to buy some license from the Google. 
So very simple example I'll show you how to integrate with your key. Few of the links of maps Google will also share you freely. You just find like a open a like a this one Google like a, here you may find the map see like GOOGL Google map link free access see free link I am hitting here so you, you may embed Google map dot net so here map generators free and uh, embed links are free these things free things only you have to use or else you may see here get started maps URLs Google developers two links I have enabled here so on Google link only I'm accessing here on Google link only like uh, for Android iOS these are the maps are showing here so launching Google map for performing specific action so constructing valid URL so the valid URL means they'll uh, provide you something like you know like uh, some information of uh, access key they'll provide you otherwise you won't get it so uh, I just I'm uh, finding how to e how easily we are going to be adding so for the Google map link I'm finding something like you know for contact page I'll type it here okay Google map link for contact page yeah adding a Google map with a marker of your website yes so remove the rest of the things yes Google map link for yes adding a Google map with a marker of your website so you find here yeah the basic code they have given here the basic code they have given go to HTML here very simply all the HTML code also here it is given so for the styles and all you have to take a copy index.js like this JavaScript and all you have to add so what I'm trying to doing by creating HTML page and all the things are given here so I'll do it I'll do it a simple text for you just one by one we'll uh, see yeah go to top go to top so at present we are in HTML so take a HTML copy of a, a code just you by pressing this one you will uh, clipping the code so here I'm putting a name sample.html yes sample.html new file I'm creating let's see let's check it first sample.html yep so here I'm taking a complete code copied code here I pasted Google Maps demo all right so sample.html if I if I access the here by defaultly yes sample so Google Maps demo nothing is displaying here nothing is displaying here so let's see one by one steps we, we can do one by one so for this here it is giving like a style sheet which is accepting like a CSS so TypeScript it is added where I have to add here index.cs okay and uh, add a map with a watermark get an api key if you are following these steps also you'll get if you are following the st those steps you will get it so understanding the code we have uh, seen here a yeah, height and width for the purpose uh, these things are applied at uh, html you can add a heading level the three of the code below and uh, div map and uh, these are the height uh, for add a map with a watermark so this is the tab like a uh, script is added something I think uh, shall we test with this code I think this is uh, having all the things yes sample okay reload something went wrong yes why it is uh, showing something went wrong so the key the key is not works from our like see your API key it is asking so let me check any sample API key which is available here mm, let me check here it is any key yeah definitely you will get in a test key from Google definitely you will get in a test key from Google Google will offer your API key to be placed here let me check any of uh, sample key may be available get an API key see it's asking like using an API keys 
लाइक यू मे रिजिस्टर युवर सेलफ इन गूगल बै लागिंग आफ् जीमेल ई डी यू विल गेट दिस बै लागिंग आफ् जीमेल ई डी यू विल गेट बै फॉलोइंग दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन यस डोट शेर वित् एनी अदर लाइक लाइक इट्स अ वेरी टिपिकल ओके सो लैट मी चेक मे बी इफ यू आर गोइंग टू यूजिंग ए लाइसेंस वे इट विल बी बिल्डिंग काइंडली अब्सर्व द थिंग्स ओके सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू गेटिंग फ्री ए पी आई की फॉर डेमो या फ्री ए पी आई की फॉर एजुकेशन पर्पज डेमो सो हाउ आई कैन गेट दिस how can i get this definitely it will provides definitely google will offer demo keys so it's not available here so you may find it and uh, you will try to register yourself and adding this key yeah that key you may place here in this position that's it you will get map automatically over here all right so try yourself and uh, whichever you want to display in uh, code you will be like a map point you will be easily add in your page i am assuring that all right so uh, like i uh, see when i refreshing map is displaying and again it's uh, converting into something went wrong why the key is nothing nothing the key is not available over here all right i'll catch you in the next lecture thank you Hello everyone. Welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to learn HTML5 special feature of audio controller. How you are going to adding an audio MP3 file to your HTML page. So see very quickly. I am showing you by creating a new file and saving as audio dot HTML. any name you may take your page and putting html as audio file demo so i'm putting here for something like a h2 tag i'm taking audio file class example so this is an html file document how we can easily recognize by seeing this tag at top by seeing less than not doc type space html will understand you to all the html5 special tags are going to be enabled here and will function once you declared this tag at top of the page so this page i have applied this tag all the pages we are seeing like we are learning html5 only the version okay so here how we can use the used to apply this audio mp3 file first you need to collect the html file yourself see my html like uh, mp3 file is peaks this is the mp3 audio file which is the peaks is going to be here so let me try to play it first yeah you may see this is the play is coming okay so this play i'm uh, adding i'm going to adding like uh, where i'm going to adding here so it may be here you may observe so let's see now i'm stopping this one yep so close it so in html how we can interact with this one by using a very simple audio controller so the audio controller is take a less than by audio a u yes tag name is audio source we can put the source also so like uh, by take it's an audio first and here we need to add something like you know like uh, the source is required for this the source is required for this how i can take a source src yes and here i need to put like uh, audio file name 
what is the file name p e a k s peaks dot mp3 dot mp3 uh, is the file name so how you will find the file name just see you just go to the right click and properties you may find this dot mp3 is a file name okay all the audio files will have most of the audio files will have the dot mp3 only and here you may take like a type yeah type of this is type equal to and you may take like a u d i o audio public m p e g this tag is also essential over here all right this tag is also essential so save it and go to like a, what is the file name audio.html so here i'm just typing audio.html yes yeah let me check here so with the only audio this is the once it is not accepted yeah audio controllers yes take as an audio controllers and uh, we may take like a source src yes source is this one yeah source is our uh, song name and the type is audio mp mpeg we have to add it type yeah, this is not required and this is also not required so the source we have added here for this one and uh, your browser doesn't support the audio element if it is not coming okay your vrbo w s r not if it is not playing you will be see this let's check reload yes we are getting an uh, greatly we are getting this controller just let me play my headphones i am placing here what a theme we are getting the audio controller the audio controller which is going to be added in html file it's a playing so any mp3 file if you want to place at any page you just apply by writing a simple this code this code inside a particular place if it is the sup not supports in your browser you will see you may see this your browser not supports all right so this way you can easily put many controls by using of uh, these things you may use many controls see it's a playing from here you may observe the timing and all pause and uh, many options are also playback speed also you can sit 1.5 1.52 quickly it will play <laughs> great options you have seen in html5 controls only so i hope uh, this is a very simple and easy lecture so take this is in a reference code for creating audio controllers in your html program so i wish you good luck we'll catch you in the next lecture with video controller how we are going to adding in html html5 okay catch you. thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn a simple video file mp3 we have seen in earlier lecture so here we are going to seeing like mp4 file see this file also i am prepared for yourself i am not going to applying for any uh, like a video files why because it's a very like a requirement of uh, copyrights so i recorded my daughter's voice with video my screen video okay so let's see i'll integrate this video to our html page with the fly its a name is fly 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 it's a rhyme we have added she'll play a lot with me so here like uh, see the video controller how i am adding here it's very easy 
so the file format to be in video format so let's see and you may see here mp4 video so go to the flow properties you may check here it's a dot mp4 all right any dot mp4 file you want to put in html page you take that file into your project and place the file like a write the controller name is a source code like a video video controller open and end tag so this video controllers we are writing so add these controllers all right so the controllers are written so now the source the path of a source how it is uh, where we are going to be expanding source is a fly file name dot mp4 the file name extension is mp4 and uh, this is written and a type of file is video video oblique mp4 mp4 so mp4 file is going to be playing here so the source i have given and uh, if the video is not support like uh, the browser and if you are not specified doc type at the top this file will not be play or your browser also if it is not updated the then only you will get a message your browser not supporting okay your browser is not supporting so here on the controls we have given source we have given the file the file is available in our html project itself if any other project like any other folder and all you may place the path here you, you need to set the path where it is available that's it so run this file in the browser save it and run it wow it's showing like a big screen it is displaying just wait i'll change the height and width also like by setting otherwise we are getting a long width no like uh, property attribute is w width equal to some around 320 px and uh, height equal to some around 240 aspect ratios i have given let me check first reload the page yes enough so if i play the controller is displaying here have you seen with the facilities of audio uh, like uh, expanding full screen wow and escape it file capture and more options playback speed picture in uh, place in a picture all these things are enabling and giving by defaultly in like uh, this controls only html5 controls only so if i play this if i play this video you may listen a great it's a video it's not audio so it's displaying something like a video my screen is recorded So you are greatly like uh, having enough facility so you may try to you may try to add more videos by taking this control take a copy of it and uh, i'm showing a simple example to make it break save it and reload the page wow two videos same video is a twice you are applying similarly how we are uh, shown the images multiple places you may change the file name and apply all the videos at this that window only so I hope you are greatly you are enjoying this lectures I think so in next lecture we'll see a great topic thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn canvas in html like a canvas is also to implement using javascript let me see we are trying to implement here using this lecture if not you try with the different browsers all right so very simply we have enough facility to write the canvas like a canvas tag is there so using this canvas tag we can write like a something a properties we can add over here like id using my canvas my canvas and you can use to like uh, specify the height and width for this canvas otherwise your canvas will be good for uh, very high level it will be displaced so as a like a board how it will be displaced that style i am taking here and the border of it here 
like the style I am taking inside border yes 1px CSS, CSS also you may take like uh, style tag also you may apply like class okay solid solid and hash something like uh, uh, c3 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 some some around some color I am trying to put in so if it is not supports you may write a line for your browser is not supports for this okay so go over here and reload so canvas example this is the canvas it's displaying so here you may see like uh, more options I'm going to adding for this canvas so how it is yeah let's see here only I'm implementing the a simple script let's see All right, it is script by putting this script with any tag inside the script inside the script how I am writing taking a variable of C and getting like a document dot get element by ID get element by ID how the capital letter or small letter same way you have to write the these JavaScript elements strongly remember otherwise uh, it won't function it won't function not properly even okay so you try to take the same capital letters as a capital small letters as a cap small so open and end parenthesis and take this id as a copy and paste over here okay and terminate this line javascript uh, skeleton this all are. and take one more variable as ctx and c dot getting like uh, get context get context get context of like uh, something like a 2d or 3d this way okay ctx dot ctx dot font which font we require so the take a font that would be like uh, around 20 px or 35 px whatever at the px you may take applying of uh, double quotes and 30 px Arial I am taking any any of a font which you are convenient you may apply here okay and ctx like this is the variable ctx which content we are going to be adding for this uh, canvas here okay fill txt fill text of um, hello sorry hello html developer hello html developer comma 10 comma 50 is the location where to be fill the text in the particular canvas so save this and reload it wow so developer is making um, user wow Canvas is displaying with the embossing letters and the font is Arial which is applied. How you need to display this canvas? Yes, you can write it. So how simply it is. If you want to like uh, display these styles in more gradient and applying of uh, colors and all. Yes, you may use to apply all the facilities in a canvas. If you want to make it uh, like uh, some designs in a canvas. Yes, you can do it. So this is the basic idea to creating a canvas in HTML page. So these are the canvases are going to be displayed. If you want to make some borders and all also you can apply. So we'll catch you in the next lecture. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to learn iframes in HTML. So what is iframe and how to use and uh, more you want to learn about the iframes are here. So in HTML, if the requirement is show a web page within a web page, a web page you are creating within a web page, 
for more web pages or websites you want to display inside a web page how it is possible yes this functionality iframe will fulfill iframe will shows a web page within a web page like main web page will be displayed and inside you may add more web pages how these are we'll see using iframe tag so how we have seen like a image tag and a rest of the tags same way iframe tag also will apply let's see here by putting up a iframe like a i frame that's it source it will ask you which site you want to be display inside this window so i'll put usually like a my website or any web page yes you may put here so like uh, i'll see like audio page video page let's see okay video dot html let's see i'm not adding anything here just see for an demo wow so here it is coming video a site is inside another website video file all, all the pages are coming so if i am taking another web like a web page or website i told you like a web page or website so i frame source http colon yeah go oh, sorry colon uh, forward slash forward slash www systems.com let's check with this yes see hari systems refused to connect something like it's a private connection it's going no so it is a refusing so let me check with the only domain name save it no it may have been moved editor deleted something it's coming so why because the local system it's a hitting the direct live server so the url like uh, when it is in a live server it will be opened your code if it is in a live server yes it will be opened for this what you do for setting of height and width also you can set for this iframe height and width also you may set for this maybe somewhere around like 150 or uh, width and height for something like uh, 150 height and width are same i am giving like maybe width like can we can put like more than this so i'll put 100 this okay let's see reload it so this one so I, we want to make it big otherwise uh, like uh, we are not able to see so height and width if i told you like this properties you may set for this iframe so many iframes you may take by setting this attributes like uh, you may put like a uh, more like a more beautiful like a uh, websites you may be set in a single page only oh sorry 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 it's a uh, height is uh, like 150 width we can put like 250 accordingly your requirement you can save it and run it so it will be displayed if i play this audio it will be play it will play all the functionalities will do all the functionalities will do so i frame not only for the local pages any web page and website also you may put inside the i frame by setting of height and width also you can apply so anyhow like a links how you are presenting like target so the target attribute also will function here if you click this if you click like a uh, yes target if you click this like a uh, item link item for this what you do like a iframe you will put and within a paragraph you may put the site link and you can, you may redirect the uh, this uh, site to a new tab or new window okay so i'll see you like uh, like uh, what a uh, more lectures in the next okay catch you thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn input types we have a discussed in form tag few of uh, input types only there are uh, so many input types are there very quickly i'll show you this input type tags in html so 
the types we'll check it like a uh, input type button t b u t t o n yes button and the name also which purpose you are give, going to giving that name you have to give here okay and uh, the next one so all we'll see one by one at output at the last so button will be displayed like this if you want to name you can uh, put the button value a yeah, value like a uh, submit if you are given like uh, this attributes i'll i'll show you in the next lecture okay so the value you will get all right the same way if i is if i ask you to like uh, input type is like uh, input checkbox okay and uh, type of uh, input it will be like uh, c o l o r color so save this and reload it yeah if you press here you will get like see this is the checkbox and if you see the color yes which color you want to take you can take the color as a reference how beauty in html5 so one more input type is like a date so just save it and reload wow all the calendars you are getting what you need more all the calendars you are getting great essential you know like a uh, if you know like a uh, many things this way like if you know many things in this way you will learn a great wonders and creating wonder of wonderful of uh, this html pages okay and uh, email email facility which you are having in a email uh, like uh, the text box will take only email otherwise it show you some error while submitting it will automatically validate and uh, input design like uh, file file is nothing but we have already seen the file 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 upload control it will show you choosing a file and upload something all right and uh, the next one is hidden hidden is nothing but like uh, it won't display in the output so this is also required developer will check it that and uh, we'll discuss like uh, number and month month will check it yeah save this and here yes you have only the months you will get if you need only the months or years it is going to be this month or clear or whatever at the month you want to get you will get it here have you seen and uh, similarly we have an a facility to like uh, uh, number password radio text and time okay i'll repeat it hidden image month number password radio button re, uh, like a search is also there a great option we have to know input type is search so save this and save this and reload wow this is the search okay you want to apply like uh, all the features you have to apply over here all right i'll show you more attributes in this particular input types and according to the attributes what you, what is the, what are the important things we'll discuss in next lecture thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture we are going to learn like input attributes yeah input attributes what are so till now we have learned something like a uh, input type text and so many things over here correct so the first name and last name and all so let's see here yep so here for this text box there is a lot of facilities we have to add like a uh, properties as a developer yeah name i'm taken and uh, first label and name if i am chosen here as a num we are as a break tag writing another one so i'm taking this and paste father's name okay father of first fee yes yeah father's name i'm changing this controller as a f name yes so two controllers i have added here successfully correct so now we are going to discussing about more attributes 
which are very very helpful for our programming html design to making more secure and helpful for developer these are a first one i'm putting if you want to show any default value in this text boxes we can put like a, enter your name or default value also we can put like a value like a john let's see save it run it default value it is coming it's a one of the attribute and this if you want to make it as a read only so apply the attribute as read only this property i'm applying here for this test box of a first like a name save it and reload so you can't do anything that test box only it will be displaced that's it you can't do anything by putting read only attribute so and also similarly you may log this like father's name we can able to enter some text no you can disable this one how just see like a for father name i am putting uh, like a d disabled yes this property attribute i have had it so reload it so here it is a it won't be like a enabled it's a like a disabled field we have created all right so this way you can apply the like uh, all the things one by one you may create here like a properties so similarly i'm going to taking uh, like a uh, one more attribute like uh, one more column i'm taking as a input entry so this uh, i can take like a uh, which one i'll take like input field we'll test with like uh, max test also you may test it maybe like a uh, pin code let's see uh, maybe code i'm putting here we want to add like uh, some size is up to 4 so size is there up to 6 or 4 characters if you fix there you just see the pin code we may enter up to 4 only it should be restrict like a size yeah sorry i'm sorry the size of the box the size of the box why this label is uh, going to be down yeah this breaks are here okay and again I mean, if I am taking another one, that would be, yes, the size of four, we can specify the different sizes of these test boxes, we can fix it. And uh, similarly, max length, yes, for the size we have seen and max length, we may put it is six digits. And if you want to put only number and uh, we can take it here is in a text place number so how many things we have applied so see now only it will type numbers no other character and uh, the max length is like a four only so is it taking four one two three four something is going on so what is uh, another one i have to type like uh, let's check with the text t x t yeah text maybe sometimes some browsers may not supports such time we have to take like uh, yeah sorry this is the six characters we have given yes six uh, till six it will accept max length is six we have given no size six and uh, max length is six so it is accepting till six so if you put according to your country you may change that min and max properties over there and uh, similarly you may have a facility to like uh, auto fill stop placeholder date patterns these you can put there and also mandatory fields like uh, required so how you use the required this is required means you use like required so if you are not given any value for this uh, it will be like uh, if you re reloaded or submit button if it is there it will ask you to enter some data otherwise it won't accept so this is about to all the attributes you may focus an auto focus is there and uh, min and max date patterns these are the patterns you may test yourself it's so easy to understand for html to validating and creating a great form to help developers i'll catch you in the next lecture thank you
Hello everyone. Welcome here. In this lecture is specially designed for you to understand a basic registration form with what are the parameters to be have in separate separate independent like uh, we can say they like uh, parameters. So like name, father's name, email, password and all the registration form should have a minimum requirements to carry. Like see in the basic structure I have taken to ready madely I have prepared this code for you to save more time. So here that like a form tag will have like open and end tag here. And here I am taking a label as a name and father's name as a label and email password and address state country and pin code these are the things i have taken as a labels and one by one called like you may observe here input type text i have taken first so the text name field will carry it for text alphanumeric characters so the second one is also text like f name for this name and my name is the ID for this and email see the email format I've taken and the next one is password and the type of password so when I entered something in this text box it will automatically show you in dot 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 so address it may be like a type text I have taken or you may put like text area and state which state you want to be entered and the country type text the country to be placed here where the pin code and the number I have taken and the submit button and the type of button which is a cancel with the value is the cancel or reset also you may put so by running this form right click open in browser you will get an reg form.html so open in browser so where it is okay if it is not open go over here in the form open with yes so this is the form so making an alignments how you require to align the things you may create one by one so the name you can enter the designing without CSS I'm giving you in a design option here so email you can enter here password in you press something you see that option of password option so the form that uh, like uh, like uh, this input type I have chosen as a password as a controller like uh, attribute so here you will get like a dot 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 only automatically so the state country and the pin code I have chosen for number if I am entering something text it won't take so here you will get a number so the max length and uh, numbers restricting of the size of the button all you may apply here one by one so greatly you may prepare like at the last you may see like submit button and cancel so accordingly if you want to put any text for this button use the value as a cancel or reset or delete these options you may put like buttons button name only will change what the action you are going to be preparing inside the code developer will check all these things if you learn as a developer code you will be known one by one in the developer section so this is about to a form tag code to prepare if any of a new controller you may require you just take a copy of it and add the label and write the input tag by creating a basic registration form so i hope it's very helpful for you to creating registration forms thank you i'll see you in the next lecture Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, we are going to learn contact us form design. It's a very simple and very easy to create contact us form. For this, I have given you a clear explanation for this. So I have taken a sources from the web and uh, to understand what are the parameters we have to follow and to be enough and what we require to add in contact us form so the design form i'll explain you one by one here you just let's see first an output so refresh the form 
see the name parameter and mobile number and uh, country which, which the user is coming from and uh, subject if he wants to something like uh, I want uh, web design or I want to learn something some information he'll put so the subject line so once the user he wants to submit or if you want to create one more button like a cancel yes you can put here okay these parameters name mobile and contact and subject this form design how see it is uh, making like a beautiful so let's come back to code this form is designed like with the HTML controls only and with the added of style sheet so let's see here see this is the HTML with the viewport we may see the title and the last we may observe like a history controller like a header with a contact us form design so now div tag is he initiated here for making in a section so this div is having like a class container so this, this class container what happening let's see here so the class which which we discussed very clearly when i are when i am putting a dot and the name which will be treated as con like a class so this class is container border and background color and padding all the surroundings will be will be covered with like uh, we may very clearly see and observe the padding is position is 20 so which won't be touched to the edges 20 20 20 like uh, all the surroundings it will be give you the gap so this is applied for div section so div section inside any it will be surrounded with the 20 px gap and it will be shows in the center position all right that is a very important the second one see form tag which is a, a starting and ending so inside the form label is taken for name label is taken for mobile label is taken for country similarly label is taken for subject so these are the labels which are going to be presenting will be treated as these are the labels see which are beauty beautifully it's a displaying about to the text box how it is possible by writing CSS class styles only let me uh, like let me test it here and I'll back and once it's the label is finished input for the text box and uh, we have added the attributes like type ID name and placeholder which are the which is the like uh, attribute is used to display text inside the text box let's see here see this is your name is here by default it is displaying if I entered the mouse and if I am starting anything it will be automatically invisible so user what he wants to enter inside this particular box you may put using placeholder and some information you may present to the user which he wants to enter into this particular text box all right so there is an a uh, mobile similarly all the things we may write and here we have added a new item called select so any countries or any multiple data to be present as a list items like a C Canada Australia India USA the countries user need not this is an a facility for select option for user may select out of these if you want to add one more country over here if you want to add one more country over here let's say UK just go over here you just add one more option inside the select just take it paste just you may change it UK United Kingdom so you just put UK if you want to add Russia to be as an option yes take it and Russia yeah just let me check one thing here also you can change it to RSA you may take RSA and uh, come to here yeah let me check so here you may take as a Russia as a country or you S S I A Russia okay so RSA you may take or shortcut names 
Russia also you can take. This is the value is going to be hit with the database or filtering purpose we will use for this. Okay. So, see if I, if you save this and go here and reload the page, yes, you will get here an option. This is all wherever you require is in a multiple options like a select options. So, take it label is common and a select option in the ID like the details which you have to follow 1, 2, 3, 4 this options you have to add in the contact us form. Like not only contact anywhere in HTML you may add this point it is very important. So, the next one it is a text area it is taken multi line text write something and a height it is applied. So, rest of the you may go to top and rest of the controllers which are added here like C. The body font family Arial and the sensor of box sizing and border border box this is the body. So, why the box is like uh, C? The box of body is showing some gray color you may observe here which are the body is having. So, why it is displaying? This is the taken as a body. It is a CSS where you will learn like a one by one in CSS lectures. You need not to worry about uh, all these things you will learn there. Okay. So, like uh, by using that you will uh, applying for this type and uh, this is for input or type text select and text area three controllers you, you may use for one uh, style aspect so select input like a text type text select text area independent controllers are going to be applying see type text multiple and text area these all are applying for these styles width 100 percent padding border and border and margin top margin bottom resize vertical all all are displaying at single place okay and uh, one more thing we may see that yeah there is a button called input type is submit so where it is yeah this is the submit so the color is applied and center alignment all these things like a text center alignment and all see color is blue which color you want to change you can change here and uh, font color is white and it is a background color ok padding border border radius and cursor pointers border radius means the surroundings you may get like a shape of a very clear uh, objective you will get there alright now you see here now you see here like uh, input type is a submit another one option background color something and uh, hover hover effect means once you place the mouse once you place the button on 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 mouse see the color is changing to green color so which color you want to change on mouse hover effect you may affect like a change this color here so these are the things are going to be added at single form which is comes under contact as form so let's see this is all about so if you want to add more information to this contact as form and adding a map we have a discussed very clearly about to the form like uh, uh, what we can say the the information what we have discussed very clearly that is map adding google map yes you can add the map here also so this is all about the coding take a snapshot and uh, prepare yourself this information and uh, this is for uh, style sheets all right this is complete code. I'll catch you in the next lecture. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome here. In this lecture, you will be assigned a simple assessment test for you. So this assessment test coding exercise will be assigned a simple coding to practice and already you know knowledge you are going to be implementing here. So this coding exercise is given HTML input types. Out of the concepts one topic would be cho chosen from the above topics. So here you need to create like a student registration form parameters, basic registration like a name of the student, text box, father's name, email password and address state country pin code with three buttons submit cancel and reset 
so i think it's a very simple and easy requirement for you so prepare well and compare with your output so anyhow in next lecture i'll share you the output how to prepare this html form code in the next lecture thank you Hello everyone welcome here here is a solution for your assessment see html form is created with a student registration form title and here i have assigned something like a label with the text boxes of name father name email password and the type of input is password address state and country pin code so wherever you want and uh, you need to applicable the parameters you may place it and along with this i have a placed like a submit button and cancel button and reset button so by designing of this form inside the form tag we have added and the body and html is very common for all html code now let's see this is the final code you may get here so let's run this I'm not applied any like a CSS and styles. So finally, our table is going to be like a form is going to be looks like this. So password, state, and country, pin code, and submit, reset, and cancel. So whenever you require like a, we have a seen like a few examples of the states and countries. Yes, you may put like a select option also here. Okay. So I hope it's a very simple and easy lecture for you to create like a, a basic student registration form by taking a design of a student registration form you may create any type of registration form a designing any type of registration form what you need to do take a label and input type you have to choose which data is going to be uh, receiving from the user and accordingly you have to plan for it to prepare text box or select box or check box radio button you have to design okay the main shape is providing for HTML designer only. UI designer only will give the shape of an application. So strongly remember, we'll catch you in next lecture. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome here. In this section, you are going to learn setting up local development environment before initiating these steps what is javascript we are knowing about in this particular lecture so let's begin here so javascript is a scripting or programming language that allows you to develop complex features on web pages the client side and server side that allows you to make web pages interactive so what you need to understand here javascript is possible to write either client side or server side programming language and it's very lightweight programming language it runs the program and it will uses the browser interactivity in in terms of uh, data transmitting and uh, page loads it's a very lightweight so it becomes it is in a very popular see where html and css are the languages that gives structure and style to web pages javascript gives the web pages interactive elements that engage a user on every time a web page displaying timely content updates, interactive of maps, and animated 2D or 3D graphics, scrolling web like a video joke box, and um, data updates. If any charts that will be reflect the latest data, it will be uh, pulled from the server and it will present you in terms of lightweight manner. So this is a JavaScript is a very become popular 
few more stuffs we'll see why it is in so popular and uh, why you need to focus in this particular language so the front end we may see it is on a html its html is a markup language that we use to structure and give meaning to our web page content making layouts and designing paragraphs headings data tables or embedding images videos and many more which we are making like a skeleton for web page so the css is the language especially it's came and popular for styling html pages making more beautiful sites adding more colors to your web page what the html components are there for example setting backgrounds colors font styles and laying out of for content in multiple columns and uh, boxes flex boxes grids all possible using css along with these two to adding interactivity will use for javascript now let's see interpreted versus compiled language so the code how it is going to be run with this javascript see you might hear that the terms of uh, interpreted and uh, compiled in the context of programming languages when you are uh, learning the programming language when you are journey with the programming language you may hear how we are able to see in the output so here in interpreted languages means the code runs from the top to bottom and the result of the running of the code immediately you will get you don't have transform to the code into different languages some other languages may be intermediate il language we can call it as or byte code or binary code it, we cannot say it the code is received the programmer friendly text from and processed directly from the browser and it will be displayed there itself will be called as interpreted language compiled languages is a, like a programming languages it will be compiled from one language to another language then it will be runs and again it will be converted into uh, system readable language then we'll able to see the browser codes for an example c c++ java c sharp and f sharp these are the compiled into machine code then run by the computer vice versa it will be converted into browser user readable code and it will be displayed the program is executed from the binary like a binary format which is generated from the original program source code will be called as compiled languages the programming language is compiling knowing more about javascript so the execution process in javascript is a plain javascript is going to be done by browser itself so the web browser receives the javascript code in its original text and runs most modern web browsers are uses javascript interpreters actually uses a technique called just in time compilation to improve the performance of an web page by the format while the script is being used so that it can be runs as quickly as possibly will give the output however javascript is still considered an interpreted language since the compilation is handled at run time on browser itself there is no need to uh, require for for uh, any other compiler or server it's not required for javascript at client side see the differences between server side and client side what is the difference major differences so you might hear about the terms of server side and programming and client side programming especially you may hear about when you are dealing with the web applications or web development so the client side code is runs users computer itself it may be desktop it may be browser whatever it it will be runs there itself it won't depend on any other server or any other resources it may be like uh, see when a web browser page is viewed web page content like javascript code page 
client code is downloaded then run display the browser the result will be displayed at the browser itself in this course we are explicitly taking about the client side javascript to learn more things on the client side uh, javascript functionalities only so the server side code on the other hand that runs the server side then its results are downloaded and displayed to the browser example of a popular servers like uh, popular programming languages like php python java ruby asp.net c sharp and many more languages who are uh, which are required to compile at server side javascript as a server side language will be considered when when we are using the modern and advanced technologies of node js environment with the angular js react js and vue js these are the server side scripting is also possible using like uh, javascript these are also javascript whereas these are the framework based javascripts so this is about what is javascript when you are initiating and starting the journey with the javascript these all are very familiarly you should know the things so i'll thank you very much we'll start by setting like a choosing a code editors how to start and initiating the steps in this section we will learn with the welcome program thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn hello world program using javascript so how to create a project folder and how to start begin with the javascript initiating hello world will learn now let's see anywhere in your desktop or any other drive like c d e any drive you may choose and create a folder which is name js project js is nothing but shortcut of javascript so you learn these lectures and tutorial javascript i'm making a shortcut of js so this folder i'm going to creating one new html file this javascript is going to be implemented ultimately using G like uh, html and css components to embed and play with it all right let's see i'm initiating with my sublime text editor by start by pressing start button and choosing sublime text editor from my windows operating system so here i'm going to creating a new file inside where i am going to creating this new file in this particular js project directory it's nothing but a directory we are calling it as javascript project so here let's see file new file this untitled file it is representing by pressing file save as save as and go to desktop choose the path js project here you may create index.html index dot not comma dot html this is an extension of html file so the file is created let's see here when i open the js project directory you may see here index so the what is the type of file it is html file so freshly we are created index dot html file with the help of sublime text editor this sublime text editor as a code editor we are using for this entire program so let's see in sublime text editor we may write html skeleton how simple it is we'll see now take less than type ht and press computer keyboard tab key see when i press tab key how wonder it is 
these are the lines are automatically sublime text code editor is helped me a lot to writing these all the lines so how simple it is let's see make it big yes now the title i am preparing like a js hello world javascript okay java javascript hello world program so here and uh, you go to like uh, our project folder this project folder and right click on the file and open with google chrome web browser this is the browser mostly i'm using for this course why google chrome updated version will supports most modern web technology latest features so if you are comfortable with any other browser like mozilla firefox or internet explorer edge microsoft edge or netscape navigator or any other opera so accordingly you may use which is supports latest features so here i'm choosing chrome as my browser so click on the chrome so empty it is showing so nothing i am not written anything inside the body of html page so it is displaying now what i am trying to doing here let's see very keenly you may observe this is the hello world welcome program which we are based on the javascript first program we are preparing here so clearly creating a p tag which is a paragraph which we can write something and now for this p tag i'm giving attribute of id id equal to like a something i may give like it's in a demo my p tag id attribute i'm given some value of attribute it is demo so let's see like a something will i get anything refresh refresh the page i'm not getting anything over here so i'm making in my windows r two splitting into two parts so the left part is coding and the right part is development like output so very simply i'm putting in this way now let's see refresh correct so here it's a very easily okay i'll write something here for h1 tag i'll write something java script hello world program oh yep save this reload it so javascript hello world program when i entered into something like a h1 tag h1 h2 h3 these are the tags from html so hello world program title i have taken so now we have a created like a p tag here to handle to control javascript now see very simply i'm initiating with the script tag just type sscript script and by pressing tab you will get this thing in the latest versions of the modern browsers these information the type it is a script or javascript is also not required strongly remember from here to here this is also not required in the latest browsers earlier versions of the browsers and uh, scripts may require that type so the latest one only script open tag and end tag inside the body only i am implementing this one all right so write simply now what i need to write like my first program hello world i need to print with the using of this p tag what i need to do first i need to like access this p tag id which is a called demo the id name is demo so how how i will get it see it's a simply very simply i need to write something here which is document dot get element 
E L G M E N T get element by capital I D capital B small y capital I small d how I am written here the same it called as in a syntax to be capital letters small letters to be applied the same way all right off off means open and end parenthesis inside you need to write the ID of this paragraph tag so this ID I am taking and placing here dot inner I N N E R inner HTML inner HTML you need to write here all right so document dot get element by id this is an id if it is a name get element by name we can also write these are all the things one by one you will learn very detailed in our future lectures so concentrate here very simply how we are initiating the journey so this get element by id this id i am placing here the name of the id so dot inner html equal to what the text to be assigned to this particular paragraph p tag so here uh, my first my first javascript program all right my first javascript program save it and make sure to terminate the line with the semicolon terminate the line with the semicolon strongly remember this is a highly important every line in javascript will terminate with the semicolon so the text is written inside the double quotes from here to here and with the ends with the terminator of line terminator of semicolon for this javascript programming language now save it and reload the page javascript will there is a no requirement at all for any compiler or interpreters so here browser it, itself will be loaded this javascript and will give you immediately on the output browser itself so save this and on right side reload the page wow my first javascript is displaying here what a awesome really awesome you are getting here so instead of my first program i may write hello world save it and reload the browser in the right side it is in a browser left side it is in a code editor so how simply we are doing a program realistic functionality very quickly so greatly so greatly we are doing here a program with greatly we are doing a program with i'm extending like uh, this browser is i'm extending i'm reducing the output here yes this is enough for us so reload oh okay 100 means this is the 100 percent i'm increasing the browser okay so now reload hello world it is coming now let's see very detailed step by step i'll explain again so h1 is an attack to given for heading p tag is used to control this element in html with the javascript we are handling this one so how we are handled so the script tag inside doc like a document dot get element by id this id we are getting p tag id with the what is the name demo and dot inner html what the inner html it is to be present to this particular demo so the double quotes is initiated means which is the string we are going to assigning to this particular javascript component so here this text is going to be assigning to this id and it is presenting to the browser let's see how it is if i am using if I'm writing any other ID based on that ID you can call the change the name and uh, you can write the string over here you will get the output successfully 
I hope it's very easy and simple. We'll catch you in the next lecture with the great experience of the new concept. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to learn getting output in JavaScript, how many types are available and how we can use to get an output in JavaScript. So here the possibilities are four types mostly we can use to get output in JavaScript on browser side. So the one by one we'll see that is we have already seen in hello world program that is the one the one option is dot inner html with the document id we have seen dot inner html option so these we are writing into an html element using inner dot html we can get the output using javascript the second one is using document dot write so the second one is the document dot write so how we will get this document dot write we'll see and uh, the next one is the second one i'll write here document dot write this method this function will get in output and the third one is window dot alert window dot yeah window dot sorry alert this method writing this implementation also we may get the output and the th last one console console dot log method so writing these first one is inner dot html we have already seen in our previous lecture how to get using this inner dot html to getting in a string element so here in the immediately I am going to writing in second example in second example like uh, document dot write how we will write and uh, how to get uh, this document dot write by implementing an output we'll see see as in the dot html we have seen the hello world instead of hello world a simple thing I'll write here so maybe applying of uh, like a six plus four let's see save it and run wow 10 we are seeing here what a awesome why this javascript automatically applies arithmetic operators the plus addition so six plus four it's a numbers if i am donating directly we can get it if it is double quotes it will be treated as string other than if you are processing numbers it will be numbers using inner.html we are able to getting an output so cool so here we go to see the next example with document dot write with this 6 plus 4 how we will get let's see removing all these things yeah document is there now yes removing this get element by id and not uh, depending on any id over here so document dot write method inside this 6 plus 4 I am adding. That's it. Save it and run it. So you may able to see here in the output. Have you seen? We are not depending on this particular paragraph over here now. So directly after writing these statements, we are able to getting this document dot write directly where it is required. We are directly writing JavaScript inside the script tags. So it, exec it is executing and it is giving you an output. See if I have written something here, it's on a break line, save it, reload, we are getting here. If I am writing one more break line means, there is a one more space I am taking line break. So see, this is the 10 we are getting with the document.write function, this one about to discuss. So the second one is done. So now the third one, window.alert. Alert means in JavaScript, we may give the pop-up window see here a l e r t alert method 6 plus 4 save this reload so 
document sorry it's a doc not document it's a window yes window dot alt save this save this refresh wow this page says 10 see what is the 10 this is the total only 10 so if i am remaining like a 6 plus 6 save it reload 12 what a fantastically we are getting an output in javascript alerts if you need any javascript alerts in the client side in html css alerts success not success and error codes all you will use windows start alert wherever you require if if you want to present any alert windows all right this is the one of the great and cool option to get windows like a javascript outputs and now a great feature one more is like uh, console dot log console dot log yes see when i am typing something my code editor see my code editor will suggest to you alphabetical order so log i am selecting from the library see these are the most popular which are sublime text editor and uh, brackets and visual studio code these are the editors will suggest you what the name which you have used if it is updated and latest version so try to apply more and more options to get and uh, these are the libraries with the latest versions only the possible so console.log when you type some like a written something this method in this way and writing something here like um, 6 plus 6 6 plus 6 applying of arithmetic operator save this and reload so to get console.log output how you will check the console.log output in the browser it's a windows i'm pressing f12 key f12 key so, or else what you need to do you have to go here you have to go to here on more tools developer tools yes if you are pressing developer tools you will see the this window these developer tools check with the browser like uh, mozilla or any other browsers you may find like a developer tools called elements console source networks these windows like these tab features which is the browser most of the modern browsers are supporting these all the features are available you need to find out if it is google chrome you need to press f12 on your keyboard with the browser and you will get here or else developer tools you need to choose from the settings here it's in a console window you need to click click on the console window when you run the like a reload when you return the something your code is perfectly you have written with the console.log if you are written in your program console.log with the end line with the terminator then you have to save it and refresh the page which is opened as an output here in the developer tools you need to go to console there you may see the outputs are directly see i will change i will change the value 6 plus 4 save it 6 plus 4 save it and see when i reload the page when i am refreshing or reloading the page console will replacing with the value of 10 how sweet it is the line number 20 which is a uh, running the code and the developer tools you are seeing like index.html form line number 20 it is presenting which the code is getting an output in here the console window so which which output method you want to write and continue with the javascript learning languages yes absolutely you may choose yourself and here to better understand to deal with the html elements and components here we are choosing document.getElement by id or by name these type of code written particularly we may focus on the ids names which component of the like html elements we may treat directly so we most of the lectures will cover with this option 
so the inner HTMLs and document dot get element ID which is I have shown you in hello world program in later lectures which we are going to be discussing with this component only so accordingly we'll write if you want to change it there is a no problem at all like uh, what you need to do document that get element ID in the place of you need to write console dot log only that's it what you need to do to learn the programming language how to write the syntaxes and how to prepare the logic using JavaScript language is very much essential to learn basic fundamentals for beginners who are seeking who are already familiar in development but should new to beginner in JavaScript yes the course is for them only so let's go one by one by taking advantages and initiating the fundamentals in next lecture on words we'll go to the next section very soon catch you there thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn how to write JavaScript internal code. See, it's a very simple lecture to understanding where we are implementing the code is important. So let's see, in here it is in a body. I'm just, earlier we have written inside the body, which is called inline code. So here also I'll explain in the later lecture, what is inline and the differences between among these three. So here, we are going to concentrating internal JavaScript. So the internal JavaScript we are going to implement inside the head. There is an HTML it is there no? Inside the head we are going to writing this JavaScript code. So for here I am going to writing script tag and here text type. So I told you like a type text JavaScript it is an optional. If you are using earlier old browsers, legacy browsers, you need to specify this attribute type with text oblique JavaScript. Otherwise, it's not required for the latest modern web pages, web browsers. So here, when we are dealing like writing something, this script tag inside the head section will be called as internal JavaScript coding. So here in, in the body, what I am writing here to making dynamic paragraphs we are going to creating now using javascript let's see a button click i am preparing so the button i'm taking and this button i have to write like on click event so let's see so here to accept this on click event how we need to accept let's see document dot add event a d d e v e n t add event listener s t e l e r yes add event listener of there is a single course dom content loader dom is nothing but document object model okay content loaded if the doc like a DOM object is loaded we need to take a comma with the method we need to initiate here so these going to be implies these going to be implies a particular functionality to implies means take a equal to and uh, this one and now we need to initiate open and end braces all right here I told you like uh, in every JavaScript line should be terminated with semicolon. So this block I have uh, terminated this way and here I will write. See whenever the page is loaded we need to handle and control the HTML elements which we are going to be dealing. So this is the event listener when I am pressing button it should be catch what happening something here in the using document object model content is loaded it will be ready to accept the event clicks so now let's initiate the function 
so all the things you will learn one by one no no problem at all create um, para where a ph paragraph my function name so in this function what i will write here in this function basically what i will write here um you can you may use a const uh, or let or where which is a variable declarations you will be learn in upcoming lectures so para for a paragraph i am taking as a para document dot create so c r e a t e create html element we are going to prepare in here so take it's a p tag only i'm creating if you want to make a div tag like a div element or a table element or break element anything whichever you want you may change this uh, html element okay so now this para this one this para dot which text content text content what the content to be present there i may write here uh, uh, you click to create paragraph you click to create paragraph this text to be there in this particular created paragraph okay now this to be append to our body so document document dot body dot append document dot body dot append child this is the para which we have taken as a variable i am adding this method append child method and terminate with the semicolon and now let's see the function which i have created why the function is created here function will be created and using for the purpose of reusing the code while we are entering into the functions you will be very clearly know many details regarding this all right so now see one more like a uh, variable i am declaring using c o n s t b u t t o n as a buttons multiple any time n number of times i may click this buttons so buttons i am taking and document dot query selector all this is a method q u e r y query selector all query selector all what is a query selector all button which is a button which we have already creating trying to creating here so here i'll write this particular event this particular event like on click event i'll add inside the button so let's see once i uh, like a query selector will identify where the button is pressing someone it will be listened here the click event will be listened so terminate this line and using for loop statement so const of button button of buttons so many buttons where the buttons this one how many clicks if it is clicked it will be reading by using for loop and one by one it will be created by the like uh, this button this events let's see for and inside the for block what i need to write here button dot add event listener add event listener click comma uh, like uh, create paragraph the function which we have implemented this one create paragraph 
and terminate now the blocks are clear now the block of code is clear yes for loop is clear yes now i need to create a button event which is on click on click yeah see these are the like uh, events which are available in javascript it's going to be displaying here on blur on close on play these are the events click events when when we are pressing button some event will be raised means it will be go to send an instruction to the function these are the built in functions built in events which are already available in javascript we are ready madely using these events that's it okay so you should know as many events to learn with the built in functionality so according to the learning knowledge you will work more efficiently in javascript so on click event means we are going to be pressing button that action is going to be provide this on click event all right so the on click and create paragraph function we need to call this one so i'm taking a copy and paste here that's it save it and some text to be display at uh, outside on the button so save it and refresh nothing is displaying in the button button is creating here if i am saving this and i'll reloading the page it's an output this is an output for javascript internal program so when i'm i need to something to be display here so c l i c k click to create a para p tag also we can write okay click to create a para i'm written so save it and reload see click to create a para as display if i am pressing here what happening let's see yeah like uh, this the code is written for the purpose to creating more paragraphs uh, let me check here yeah let's see here add event listener capital letter l we have to take here yes listener so how important to write javascript you need to know how the method is implemented here with the capitals and small letters very much pretty case sensitive in javascript so now this event listener add event listener method I have implemented here with the capital letters only now just save this and reload the page of output check with click to create a paragraph let's check here wow you click to create paragraph see this is the text only we are getting now if i click if i click it's a program which is implemented using javascript like uh, in this area if you want to create button or you want to create table or you want to create any box anything you may create by clicking the button only even uh, like uh, you can create uh, like uh, n number of items in javascript so how pretty beauty using javascript interaction with the data so greatly you may put like dynamic way in upcoming lectures so very clearly you may understood this lecture is specifically designed to understand and know the writing internal javascript inside the head which we have implemented the coding will be treated as internal javascript so within the body only having html element with the online with the help of on click event in javascript we call the function and uh, these are going to be creating repeatedly see refresh reload so once the logic is implemented means always it will comes all right so i'll catch you in the next lecture thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn javascript 
external file with the external javascript file how we are going to integrating with our required page to run javascript which is a very most popular to maintaining external javascript you are going to learn here let's see earlier example we have seen very simply to writing internal javascript so the same code save it and reload the page see click paragraph it is going to be creating if i am refresh so everything is a reloaded page is readily available so awesome now now let's see very simply what i am trying to doing now so these internal javascript code i am trying to making move to external file same example only we'll see but this internal code i am shifting into external file even there is an like a little bit integration is only required how to add this external file that we are going to be seeing now rest of the things nothing is required so here some of the few important things are there which we are going to be understanding and uh, listening so let's see first of all i am creating a new file which is a called which is a called name called script script dot js you may put external javascript or uh, any other which is a script means like javascript means dot js means we are providing javascript file you need to understand very clearly if you are having validations or uh, any like a front end different different type of javascript files also you may create externals module wise user wise form wise yes it is possible to create so here to understand better understand i'm creating script dot js only so save this yes script dot js is ready come back to index dot html form and see inside the script tag inside the script tag i'm making cut copy and cut here and moving into external file script dot js file i am shifted the entire code from there to here let's see how i am writing very simply all right now uh, like uh, what it is uh, needed here what it is needed here means it's a completely external no so this document dot add listener event uh, this is also not required here okay that is also not required so remove the line this one also it's not a dom object so remove this perfectly function and every on click event to be created a button no for the purpose we are implemented here it is in a for loop statement save it javascript script.js file is ready now come back to index.html so here script tag it is also written no so remove this one also first we will write from entire beginning so inside to call the external javascript file to here here in html what we need to do let's see inside inside the head tag only inside the head tag only i'm going to calling this external javascript file using script script type javascript like i told you like uh, latest modern browsers are not required if it is there no problem okay so here what you need to do src source it's a attribute called src press tab you will get double quotes equal to double quotes automatically so you need to write the path of the file which you are going to be importing so my path like a name of the file is script.js so write down here sse ri pt dot js should be give very clearly the extension of the file so the script it is nothing but javascript files only it will be received from the external source in my file directly i placed in my project directory which i have created so i am directly writing if it is the file is 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 maybe placed in any other directory inside the project yes write the 
directory path clearly where, where it is available. So you won't get any errors on while executing the program. So here what you need to understand very clearly one more keyword defer keyword I am using see this defer keyword I am using here why the defer keyword is using and how it is an important to write here you will learn all the things in future lectures okay defer keyword on script tag will help us to download javascript code in the html page successfully all the external javascript file which is having a javascript functions methods or anything will be imported and downloaded to the current html form and then it will be ready to works which is the html dom objects or elements to be given any performed actions very clearly strongly remember to use this defer keyword is very very important to get all the functionality properly using javascript files now what i need to do now we are uh, written and importing like uh, integrating of the external javascript file this is the external javascript file we are importing and using this html form now what i need to do nothing save this and reload the page click here to create a para wow so i'm getting i'm getting a paragraph very 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 easily why and how i am getting this para why and like uh, how and why i am getting this paragraph you just simply see create a paragraph functionality is uh, accepting this external form and differ keyword is helping to differ keyword is going to helping to getting like my functionality of this external file so how simply it is done so reload click here a paragraph it's coming uh, this thing let me re remove yeah save it and reload yeah so we are getting very easily we are getting how many events are rising accordingly we are getting the paragraphs are going to be creating so try yourself and uh, prepare a great external files and uh, uh, call to integrate all you have to do is like uh, writing an external file javascript code and importing the thing you need to concentrate here this is the lecture objective is main you know like a uh, uh, important thing is that one so script scr file name which is the javascript file name path differ keyword and writing the buttons within a body this is the lecture objective i hope it's very simple and easy to integrate external files we'll catch you soon thank you Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to learn inline JavaScript. So here you need to observe very simple and very easy. What you need to observe here. So earlier we have uh, completed this external file. So now very simply to making this code, just taking of this code, I am moving into our html form so how simple it is like uh, let's see taking a copy of this code and uh, we need to establish a script tags inside the body tag only so what we need to do remove this tag from head tag which is the external file so here i need to initiate this script tag so here inside the script i need to write this code that's it save it very clearly save it and reload the form save and reload the form 
click here to create paragraph why it is coming two and the three these things have you observed anyone see it's a very simple and easy thing javascript browser may have javascript browser may have already javascript code earlier uh, like uh, used click events and functionalities may run backend so you need not to worry about it all all you need to do control plus f5 to reload with the clear catchy or clear all the history or browser histories and all from your browser and check your functionality with the javascript whenever you are facing you are not receiving accurate result from the script code so very clearly this is a troubleshoot is important for javascript learners so this is which is a written if it is an inside head tag will be called as internal and if inside body if we written javascript code with the script tags and all will be called as will be inline and if you are using any external files will be called as external javascript so all you need to advantages see first let me see like uh, see save this and reload creating paragraphs yes it is creating so here you may to like uh, write and uh, perform your expertise by writing external javascript files only which is a written external javascript file if you are prepared anywhere in your project very easily you may write and apply all right so try to practice external javascript files whenever you are writing internal and adding this script to in external file to apply wherever you require all right i wish you good luck thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn javascript async and defer keywords so let's see how we are going to integrating external javascript file to our html or any other programming language files where we need to use external resources of javascript programs let's see the advantages and uh, features which are available with these two keywords there are actually two modern features we can use to bypass the problem of the blocking scripts while loading the pages so these are the very very latest and modern things two keywords are introduced in javascript so which are already we saw on earlier a defer keyword to using and integrating and loading in a page so let's look at the difference between these two scripts loaded usually the async attribute will download the script without blocking the page while the script is being fetched however once the download is complete the script will execute which blocks of the page from rendering rendering is nothing but getting or pulling you get no guarantee that script will run in any specific order so there is a no guarantee it is better to use async when the scripts in the page run independently the script is there and the script is not dependent to any other dom object which is depending only for a specific html element then you need to use async async attribute to import the external javascript file so here so the scripts of the page run independently from each other depending on no other scripts in the page then you used to use like a async keyword to import the javascript files scripts loaded with the defer using like a defer attribute will load in a order they appear on the page 
how you written order one two three four line wise importing links you may prepare like a script tags based on the order the differ using the differ keyword the script will be downloaded like loaded in the page which you have opened or accessed in your browser they won't run until the page content has all loaded which is useful to your scripts depend on the dom being places they modify one or more elements in the page so async let's see a simple uh, visualization i have given here so script tag async keyword maybe start or end also you may write source which is the javascript vendor js and js three scripts i have introduced here similarly using differ keyword instead of async we are using a simply replacing with the differ keyword that's it this is the writing style and now important points to remember while using async and differ keywords so async and differ both instruct the browser to download the scripts both are a separate thread while the rest of the page the dom objects etc which is downloading so the page loading is not blocking during the fetch process fetch process means external page javascript file or program is there which is going to be fetching and downloading into the current html page or current uh, web page it may be html or it may be asp.net page or java jsp pages or any other page scripts with async attribute will execute as soon as the download is complete this block of the page does not guarantee any specific execution order so scripts with the differ keyword attribute will load order by how you are written the step by step files from first second third the same way it will fetch and download once it is a complete like everything is finished to downloading then it will be execute if your script should run immediately and they don't have any dependency use the async keyword to import the things if your scripts needs to wait on parsing depending on other scripts then dom being to be placed load them using differ keyword put their corresponding scripts orderly so the browser will understand and execute to avoiding this downloading and fetching issues clearly you will get accurate functionality in your program javascript program i hope it's a very clear explanation i have given for async and differ keywords which you comfortable you need to use and apply in your real world programs thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn variables in javascript so here you need to know the types of variables declaration in javascript and how simply we are going to declaring variables with the prefixed keywords what is prefixed keyword javascript is having four ways to declare variables in javascript programming language so very basically i'll show you like a reserved keywords to be declared as a variable is like where that's a keyword let and const nothing so if we, if we are not donating anything that is also is possible in javascript let's see one by one a simple examples first let we'll see later const we'll see and uh, these are the two are very modern uh, keywords which are uh, reserved for variable declarations so examples we'll see one by one so at beginning uh, in the line i have declared here it is in a var so we'll go with the var so let me write something here about var so very simply to understand i'm writing inside the body only the code statement okay so p tag 
with uh, id uh, what we can see here it's a demo i'm writing for a p tag and a script tag in declaration yeah here the script tag document dot get element by id we can write to get this this demo like uh, something if we are declared something here some code we need to present something in output in browser no that output should be i'm going to assigning to this p tag nothing but so on welcome program hello world how we written same way will be goes the lectures same way anything it may be dev or it may be p tag table tag anything which you want to interest to change modify on your practical lectures you may try yourself all right within the this uh, script tag let's see like uh, to accessing this html element i'm writing like uh, document dot get element by id see what are the capital letters and small letters the same case sense to you need to write in javascript so here within a method i'm calling which i'm trying to assigning the data this demo this one d e m o take a copy and paste demo dot inner html i n n e r html is in a capital so equal to if i written something here it will be donated to it will be like uh, presented to the this particular id so uh, let's see hello save it reload the output page so hello we are getting here so this one so i am incremented uh, like a page view to get better understand so hello, hello i am getting that's really awesome now let's see what i am trying to doing declaring variables so how i am declaring variables using where keyword i am initiating where a equal to some number like a uh, four javascript terminates every line with semicolon so the next variable variable i am taking a or name anything you may write other than other than reserved keywords so strongly remember this one i am declaring as like uh, where a b c i am taking simply or else if you want to take like a number a new m also you can take no problem okay so here where a some number i have given equal to operator is using to assigning the value to the left side variable this is the where is the declaration means it's in a variable and this is the equal to operator is using to the value right side which we have assigned the value is going to be assigning to this variable this variable will stores this four number into the memory address location whenever we are using reusing this a the particular variable the from the memory location we will get that value and will reuse this is the variable in programming languages how we deal and the advantages of using variables variable is same variable variable declaration and variable is same values will be exchange we may put dynamic variables for a single variable dynamic values all right now b let's see b equal to some other number it's a 6 so now where one more uh, thing i'll take like uh, uh, c i'll take a plus b oh great where here a plus b i'm written here all right now if i want to print c let's see how it is okay so the total of the total of a plus b okay or else uh, the total value also we can say that a plus b i am writing the total of a plus b uh, concatenation i am using and c i am printing let's see this thing is going to be assigning to this id the id is going to be printing in output 
so here we will get let's save this sorry let's save this code file and reload the page wow the total of a plus b 10 we are getting see arithmetic operator the arithmetic operator using variables is happening very clearly how simply we are initiating the programming so awesomely we are initiating now where we are used i'll come to the part of where to be used or not i'll let you know okay so the same similar way the same i'm not going to be disturbing anything more so let's see instead of where i'm trying to changing let let keyword is on a latest 2015 after it is a let is added in javascript programming so now i'm replaced where with the let keyword let keyword and save it reload the page yes same result we are getting there is no change let uh, try to change 6 66 save it reload 12 wow using where using let we are able to getting the output awesomely we are getting i really enjoyed a lot so now let's see here using other like a const keyword so you have learned till two one is where another one is let now const keyword this is also to declaring a variable constant declaration oh okay okay so here we need to declare write something like let why it is i'll tell you okay so c instead of c we may put t o t a l yes so if i am written total here remove the c and add total what it is more than that very simple so let's see save this and check the output yes 12 uh, so i want to change this number now yeah save it let's check the total wow we are getting the total simply awesomely so what you understood using where using let and using uh, something like a const keywords to be used for to declaring variable identification so nothing means if you are not given anything yes it is also possible to used browser will understand yes it is in a by default let or uh, const uh, variable declaration so in this example particularly you will see the differences between this let and const when important on const keyword usage is you want to general rule always declare variable with the const keyword general rule why if you think the value of the variable can change if it is maybe change you need to use let keyword see here we have used that word like that value may be changes on running of the program so you need to use the let keyword other than you need to use the constant c o n s t const keyword to declare the variable whose the value is not going to be changing or modifying so very clearly we have seen the example a b and total three things are there three things means three variables first two variables are const the total variable is used let keyword so having was the value is not changing we have given const keyword was the value is changing we are given let keyword so very clearly i have given the explanation for this and an important information regarding variables what it is this is a very important like a when to use where see always javascript variables with where let const three things we have seen the where keyword is used all javascript code from 1995 to 2015 so later no 
let and const keywords were added in javascript in 2015 and words so you better to use if you want to work with your older browser whenever you are implementing a program in using javascript with a old browser to be running then only you need to use where keyword otherwise you better to switch the modern keywords which are added in 2015 which is let and const keywords so happily you work perfectly javascript programs in large scale all right so happily write a program with the variable declarations with the keywords what we have discussed very clearly so i'll catch you soon in the next lecture thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn javascript data types previous lecture we have learned about variables declaration to declaring a variable you should know what type of data is going to be assigning this particular variable so let's see here basically very most important data types we are going to discussing now those are the data types are here i am writing the data types of like a string which is in a data type and uh, text era surrounding either double quote or this is a double quote or single quote if we are assigning some text it will be called and treated as string data type okay we have seen something like a hello world program in that uh, scripts we have seen so the data which is having surrounded with the either double quote or single quote will be called as and uh, javascript also most of the programming languages will treat the same it is in a string data type only so now here also in javascript also will be treated as string data type which is having single quote or double quote surrounded with the text now the second one is number number is nothing but integer you know like 0 to 9 number whole number is given any as in a data type without quotes singular double quotes will be treated as number integer all right and boolean true or false true or false will comes under booleans and arrays arrays a group of data items irrespective of the data type a group of data items maybe if i am assigning like a name i am taking a single name if names group of people or team how we can take uh, to assign the single variable with the multiple data items yes using arrays it is purely possible so we learn all the steps no problem uh, with the step by step in our uh, future lectures so with the arrays we can take a group of data items going to assigning to a particular single variable with the possibility of arrays declaration and objects so this is an object will be called as like a name value pairs will be there in the objects in javascript these all are one by one examples we'll see in our uh, upcoming lectures anyhow so here what you need to know here what you need to know this is in a plain html i have open and inside the body i am preparing these things that's it there is nothing more than that so here let's see first of all we'll see an example with the data type of string we'll see here in one by one separated lectures have been prepared for independent data types for each lecture will give you a clear description in our future lectures so here for uh, i'll take in a variable with string and assigning to the data how this variable i'm going to using our uh, this uh, javascript program with inside the javascript how we are accessing this variable we are going to knowing now let's see 
so most of the students you know like uh, this is the p tag with the id with the demo we have taken that i think it's a very clear so now to taking this id i'll use for document dot get element by id how i am written here same way you need to write and uh, here it is uh, my id name is demo dot inner html it's a purely case sensitive how it is written same way you need to write line ends with the terminator line ends with the terminator so here uh, what i'm trying to doing so let's say uh, putting double quote and uh, javascript i have added javascript i have added this string this string is going to be assigning to the id which is a from paragraph id this id is going to be assigning this string let's see first save it and reload wow this is the javascript we are able to see these are the numbers like uh, these are the types i have written no the same display it is don't confuse it all okay so otherwise i'll remove it no problem okay save it this javascript is going to be assigning to this paragraph id let's see wow it's coming perfect now we are going to taking some declaration of let okay uh, course let course equal to taking double quotes always practice with the strings with the double quotes only it will help you a lot in future i'll explain you why it is important in double quote and uh, important in single quote also i'll explain okay so uh, like a uh, take a uh, java script now save this and uh, remove these things this is a uh, assigned javascript you remove it and just simply put course here course variable i am assigning to this inner html to getting an output what happening this variable is assigned with the string surrounded with the double quotes this string data is going to be assigning to this course variable using let i have taken okay so this course value is going to be assigning to this inner html document means i'm going to assigning this text into our paragraph it will be called as variable okay now save this and reload the page there is a no change at all javascript is displaying here so i'll change the some another course okay I'll change the some other course like uh, let's say python save it reload wow python is coming so very purely we are uh, handling variables in this particular lecture how beauty it is so irrespective of double quotes i told you to put either double quote or single quote let's say i'll change to single quote save it yes perfectly refresh reload the page of html you are getting either single quote or double quote we are happily accessing so why uh, like uh, these two things the single quote and double quote let's see let's see a simple example i'll show you uh, python's uh, for b e g i n n e r s if i've written like this and putting single quotes if i putting so here it is taking a first fee and this is the treated as a it means it says that the string is ending there so if I, automatically my code editor is saying that something error is there if i run this i won't get any output so what i need to do such a scenarios we need to put double quotes surrounded to this particular yeah yes now let's see javascripts for pythons for beginners it's taking happily so most cases if you are using double quotes it will be help you a lot if you want if you want any like uh, uh, let's see one more example i'll show you like the surrounded single quotes are there i want to highlight these beginners course with the double quotes then you need to write this way let's save it reload see python for beginners beginners is highlighting with the double quotes how simple it is so accordingly how you need to display your data very clearly you may display your wish all right so whether 
it is a possible or not you have to check which string data type you are going to be dealing or handling so according to let or const i have clearly explained about let and const uh, e, this uh, variable declaration predefined uh, variable declaration predefined text keywords so use wherever it is necessary let or const these are the very popular and most like modern things all right so we'll catch you in the next lecture with the numbers thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn numbers the data types we have seen previous lecture is string and now you are going to learning about numbers it's nothing but integer data types so let's see very quickly i'm taking like uh, num1 as my variable num1 or num2 whatever it you may take it okay so the number is not require any single or double quote surrounded so very simply i'm taking as in a 32 is my number so let's see this num1 if i given here so this data type if i given here directly save it and this is you know already if you don't know like uh, let go with the previous lecture you check it i have written all the things save it reload wow 32 we are able to get it so the number without having any decimal point and uh, percentage of uh, dots you will get very clearly this uh, information in output perfectly so here you are observing now let's see if a number is assigned like uh, let n u m 2 equal to around 20.50 this is called decimal this is called decimals the decimals which is assigned here and uh, this one is number all right also most of the programming languages will call it as integer data type integer data type so how simple it is so let's see why these are the important why these are very much important in like uh, learning data types in the numbers so let's see i would say like uh, num1 num2 if i applied like we may call it as like uh, arithmetic operators once we are applying let's see num1 uh, like uh, where is the plus symbol yes num2 if i've written in this way all right num1 and num2 let's save and reload 52.50 so that arithmetic operator is applying directly there is a nothing we require so arithmetic operator we we just write down here and we'll get in a solution over there in the browser save the code and reload the page you are getting so awesomely we are getting see uh, if we are not segregated number as an uh, integer without surrounding text or double quotes uh, let's see what happens I may put it is like a 20 uh, 22 let's check what happens and I'm using like a, I have a converted these data types into strings all right and I'm making arithmetic operator what happened let's see save it and reload can anyone will expect the answer it may be 44 or something else I'm sorry 42 or something else let's check reload the page 2022 wow what happening here the beauty of programming will identify if we are not identify compiler like a javascript compiler will knows that what happening here so let's see if i am removing why it is coming means if we are putting strings around the numbers it will be treated as string variable string data item which is assigned to this particular variable so very clearly understood wherever we are applying with the arithmetic operators we need to follow to make sure to put as a number without surrounding 
either number or decimal point values we need to put something like a 20.50 yeah 2.50 so let's save it now it is making arithmetic operation is functional successfully so numbers are written with or without decimal point whenever you need to write without double quote or single quotes okay now the same here you may apply like a subtraction yes you may put minus save reload 17 if you want division yes division you can put 8 only if you want like multiplication put the symbol as multiplication save it run it 50 how easy how easy these are the things division also like a divided by percentile yes you may put the percentile symbol zero something more is required no to get in a percentage yeah the same way what you need to do save it and reload the page wherever you want to do like uh, some functionality in the coding and output you need to save the code file first then you need to run the output you will get a clear accurate output so i hope you enjoyed a lot with this lecture we'll catch you in the next lecture thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn very clearly about two strings how simply we are going to using strings in javascript how we are going to communicating with the javascript elements to html elements let's see very simple i think you have already familiar with the string data type when we have uh, completed in the data types so here also i'm going to explaining more detailed information about the strings we'll see now let's begin let's see here with the variable i'm going to assigning here uh, let's take either let or constant you may take here so the first name taking double quotes or double quotes or single quote anything john i am taking and uh, let uh, last name perry or mary john mary yes any name you may take it so first name and last name here it is written okay either single quote or double quote anything is possible to prepare now let's see first name if i give in i'll get the first name straight away here in the output it's a john wow awesome so how we are going to be concatenate taking double quotes and inside like a let's check like a, take a plus plus symbol inside put double quotes take a space uh, simply last name that's it let's reload john mary it's coming if you need one more variable here you just add in between the elements of these two plus plus with the string items which is going to be concatenating the things many and you will get the output with the very simply the string displaying it's not specific to double quotes I have told you already and single quote is also possible to get the output all right this is called very clear string formatting and now and now I'll give you like uh, one more information over here to get like uh, uh, any like uh, anything you want to make it is like uh, something break lines if it is a uh, John it is there Mary if you want to put in second line what you do just simply write br you can add it you can add it br inside the this double quotes that's it John Mary if you want to put one more uh, uh, this uh, name or email or something what you do let email something uh, perry at 
gmail or hotmail dot com. So very simply, I'm taking this copy of this code and at the end I'm putting an email. Over my requirement, done. I'm able to get in here. So how simply it is uh, I'm able to get in. Great. Now let's see a simple thing. I'm putting something like uh, something like uh, notes I'm putting here very greatly all right like uh, a b c d some text i am added so what is the length of this notes how should i how would i know easily so how i know that uh, the text which is added inside the notes variable the string length notes dot l e n g t h it's a built in method uh, terminator so let's see reload for it's a string like a length it is displaying so if I added more save it reload oh, 11 automatically it is calculating the length of the string so if I added something save it reload Wow 21 if I added more save it 30 great yes where we will use this method where we will use this length method for a particular string counting yes particularly we will use in validating the names which is entered by the user how much string he is entered maybe names minimum requirements of three it's a universal standard so at least if the user is not entering minimum three digit in the name first name it won't be acceptable okay so very clearly you just verify just I'm giving you a built-in method in the next lecture we'll see the formatting and again we'll see the methods how we are going to applying uh, built-in methods and the dynamic variable declarations we'll see one by one in the upcoming lectures I'll catch you there thank you Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to learn string formatting. So here, a very simple lecture which is prepared here. So let's see. Very quickly, I am taking like a name as a variable and I am adding here, it's a my name here. And let uh, like uh, name is over and uh, it is like a first name. I am taking it as a F name. Let L name, I'm taking it is uh, some name, my name, L name is, and let um, address, I'm taking it is India. Yeah, three variables I declared very clearly. So how I can able to uh, see these three variables? Very simple, these are. Very simple, how? Let's, let's see, F name and uh, space, taking plus plus symbol yeah inside double quotes if I add it and again like a L name and again I need to write a, I'm going to making a concatenation of this group of data with the dynamic variables like a address I need to place over here and terminate at the end of the line save it now this ID is going to be displaying our output perfectly so this page if I am seeing in output in my browser, this is the browser output I have placed. To save a time, lot of time, I have opened this page already in the browser, just reload it. See Shekhar Metla from India. So how simply we are making like a JavaScript to string which is a formatting. Now if I placed here like a let pin code as in a pin code. 500000 let's save it and here what I need to do taking this copy and uh, let's say paste uh, yeah pin code that's it save it reload the page pin code is adding here 
So clearly, if you want to write something in plain text, these all are the variable text only we are preparing. So we are prepared an output, structured output perfectly here and you are able to see here for an, a student. You may assume it. So if I am the name is changed to something like uh, Ahmad and uh, MD and uh, something like uh, UK put something like a pin code some changed save it data values only I have changed here save this and reload all the output parameter is same this is the dynamic parameters and the variable values which we are going to be using in string, string formatting all right and also you may write you may write breaking code lines how we can how you can let's see you can put like a backslash you can put like a something if you put something here it's an enter like or else it's in a backslash yes you may put code break only yeah code break for the purpose you may put like a backslash to enter the code over here yeah reload so nothing you are getting so some few of the futures are available while uh, writing something like uh, I'll show you with the dynamic variables. Let's say uh, something hello Perry if I return and putting backslash to entering over here. Let's save it reload hello Perry is displaying. So the commonly you are able to see in a single line in the output whereas code is splitting with the backslash means you are making multiple lines you can you are breaking a code you are ultimately you are breaking a string into multiple lines these things are possible in string formatting when you are deal with the large text and whenever you require to making a splitting into your code lines yes used to backslash and uh, slash n slash t also possible to write like a slash n means here you will put n and here you will put t these options you may apply to write your programming all right i'll catch you in the next lecture thank you